Good evening, South Africa. Good evening, South Africans. Good evening, Africans. And good evening to our friends joining us from around the world. Thank you so much for joining us this evening as we uh, hear from the public protector of South Africa, Advocate Busisu Mkwewani, on the situation uh, in KZ. And she's currently on the ground assessing and, uh, you know, hearing from the public uh, uh, in KZN. So thank you so much for being with us. The PP will join us shortly. We appreciate you uh, being with us. Please, if you are from KZN or you also want to weigh in on this, by all means, uh, you can uh, request the mic and uh, come through, you know, and, uh, and share with us as well. This is a situation, like I said earlier, that calls for unity, for all of us to really, uh, you know, uh, put our hands together and see what we can do to help our brothers and sisters, our family in KZN. So thank you so much for taking the time to join us uh, on this Evening, the Sunday, uh, the Saturday, I guess, evening uh, at Easter time, even, you know, we really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Uh, PP, good evening, and thank you so much for joining us. Good evening, Mr. T, and uh, good evening to all the listeners today. Um, you know, we just say good evening, and uh, you. Yeah, I wonder whether it's a good evening. We are sitting in the comfort of our own homes. Other families, they don't have houses. They are sleeping um, in some community halls, others in um, neighbors' houses, others in some church halls or church um, facilities. So, yeah, in this rain and it's cold. Oh my goodness, PP! What a uh, devastating situation for people to be in. I mean, uh, yeah, some of us are seeing this on TV and newspapers, but uh, I'm sure you being on the ground there, PP man, is a different story. I mean, to to see this and and see people affected by this, uh, it must be devastating. I mean, what are people saying on the ground? Are they getting the help they need? Uh, how can we help, uh, PP? It's devastating indeed. Uh, yesterday, uh, I mean, you know, what you hear from TV and what is happening um, on the ground is totally different. Do you feel the pain of people? You see, see them being very desperate yesterday. Some people have not taken a bath since uh, Tuesday. Some, they don't have clothes. They've been wearing those clothes since Monday, Tuesday. Uh, some, you know, um, are mourning uh, Mr. T, uh, sitting in neighbors or staying, well, in neighbors' houses, mourning the loss of their loved ones, uh, uh, their family home is no longer, I mean, it's, it's destroyed. Um, some don't have water, they don't have food. Yeah, it's a very difficult uh, situation people are facing. Indeed, uh, if you are not here, you know, to me, it felt like I, I think we needed uh, some days of mourning as a country because... I think we need everyone to be just focusing and all hands on deck. Yeah, um, to just um, assist the communities. I mean, yesterday, Begui Good Friday, and uh, I told myself, you know, going there, just serving the public, hearing their stories, um, and also checking how we can assist as the public protector to intervene. And especially if we have the list of all those um, people who are impacted so that when we engage government, we have the list and at least we would be able to see to it that they are indeed assisted. And, you know, because we'll have to go back to those communities to check whether they've received any assistance. But then I think what 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 is happening is that um, especially the the Guamashu Business Forum, a very organised uh, forum, uh, which uh, 
if it was not for them, I wonder those communities, what would they have done? Because at least they are there on the ground providing food, uh, shelter, whatever they could. And I think you would expect to have um, the Department of uh, Social Development, um, you know, because, I mean, once you declare a disaster, there are requirements which needs to be met. So, yeah, people are fending for themselves for now. But I would then hasten to say, you know, instead of just they are sitting and pointing fingers, one will have to be on the ground and see what's happening and how we can assist and intervene wherever possible. Indeed, uh, PP. Thank you so much uh, for that. Yeah, no, definitely, you know, as you put it, PP, man, it's, it's painful, you know, for people, I mean, to be wearing clothes that they've worn since that day uh, they were struck by these floods. I mean, that alone is just painful because, I mean, those clothes are now, you know, trauma. And it's just people not bathing and showering for so long. I mean, uh, my goodness, lost loved ones, lost property. I mean, what a situation uh, we are in. And I do agree uh, with the PP there. That, uh, you know, uh, a day or perhaps even more uh, days of mourning as a, as a nation uh, are something we need, um, you know, uh, because this is this is a big issue. This is huge what's happening here. And I think, you know, uh, the point here is that uh, the people of KZN need to see that we really do care about them and that we will take the time to dedicate uh, to nothing else but them. So I do agree with you there, PP. So PP, a quick question now. Uh, in a situation like this, uh, you know, what are the steps government has to take and uh, how quickly do they have to respond? Uh, you know, um, since the state of uh, disaster has been declared, you know, the legislation provides that... Um, they should have uh, um, um, made sure that um, they release all or any available resources of the national government, including uh, stores, equipment, uh, vehicles, and facilities. A release of personnel of national okay from national organ of uh, the for rendering for rendering emergency services. Um, they should then implement uh, the provisions of the uh, national disaster management uh, plan. And in case it and I mean you would also expect yes I I suspect they are still working in various pockets because. It's one thing I propose to the Premier that I think if they can have the national, a, a provincial operation centre where they can meet and have a centre where all of them, the MECs, the HODs, the chiefs, the, um, uh, yes, the special structures of government because um, if you have a disaster like this, you need that coordinated effort instead of then having one department uh, going around saying we will be doing this, another one coming saying we'll be doing this. And the very same national ministers who are coming here, they should be coming and meeting at those uh, op centers where all the resources uh, will be. And I think as soon as the Treasury declared that national disaster, or oh, in fact, after the national disaster was declared, Treasury indicating that this uh, billion which will be availed um, uh, uh, for, for, for relief, uh, and they should have then also requested the provincial Treasury to issue uh, Treasury notes um, or instruction notices to various departments or to that operational center. Um, that will help Uguti um, when they procure anything, they should then inform the provincial treasury, inform the auditor general in the province about all the deviations which they are going to be making because 
Indeed, in such circumstances, you need deviations. You know, Mr. T, um, you have the families, I mean, Guamashu meeting those families. Um, there's another community which was on the on the on the road in J- well they don't they are sleeping um well with uh, the neighbors houses and you'd see, um, um appreciate that those people also they don't have food they don't have um, water which is uh, you've heard that there's no water around but you would expect especially 3 days after the incident has occurred to have a situation where you have um, uh, social development, um, especially there are a number of children who are there on the street, number of women who are there. One woman has a, a child with a disability. Um, they don't have their house. Uh, others' houses, they, 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 they have, well, they are flooded uh, but at least there are some things which they still want to look up up for because they would say during the day we must go and just go to, to, to look up for our things because there would be criminals who would want to steal um, their things. But um, that has not happened. So I don't, I don't know. Well, possibly there's something which is happening, but... We areas which have visited for now, nothing is happening. Um, the family of Emolweni, Emo where we we went with the MEC of uh, Human Settlement, um, he promised that at least within five days they will build a temporary structure for them. I think that's what they've agreed with the national minister. Oguchi, they will be building at least temporary structures which are habitable so that then they will be able to be preparing for the funeral in their own home and uh, they will try to make sure that they do that within five five days. So the, the, what we are intending to do also as an office, though there will be a team of investigators because I requested that business uh, forum or business chamber, commercial business chamber, and even the 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 the, the councillors Basse Molwin to send us the list of all those people, so that um, when we approach Department of Social Development, these are the names uh, you need to assist or people. And when we approach Home Affairs, some of them have lost their ID. In fact, everything they don't have. As I said, they are just remaining with the clothes which they are having. They would need IDs. They would need uh, birth certificates of children, and so um, it will be accorded. That's that's what we can we can help as an office to fast track that. Also, approach home affairs <clears throat> to assist with birth certificates and and IDs. Um, uh, in the meantime, so um, government has a way of procuring and following proper processes. Hence, we are here to help and we are here to make sure that they comply. Yes, I know there's a lot of mistrust. I've seen the COCTA has shared in a, 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 a bank account for people to donate and others are, said, are saying we'd rather give to private companies or gift of the givers or whoever than to give the money to government because remember they would need to um, have the money to assist those who would want to bury their loved ones. So if there's this uh, uh, lack of trust um, over the government, it's a big challenge. But um, I think um, as institutions supporting democracy as well, I requested, because I'm still uh, uh, chairing that um, forum, we will have to meet tomorrow or Monday to see how we can also make sure that we monitor. We, um, the Auditor General, I know they would also have to um, monitor the expenditure of the money which has been availed. Um, I think we would be able to make sure that monies which are availed are used for the purpose for which they are supposed to be used. But Mr. T, I'm still worried about the 
the slow pace of public service or public servants. Um, because up to now, I've been trying to get hold of the MEC of uh, of uh, social development. Um, it's still a struggle to do that. But I told myself that well, maybe then we'll have to write officially to them. But I think you would expect to have a structure which is now operational, you know, like an operational, an op center, which will also include the, the municipality. So that is a coordinated effort um, to assist the public. But it's a dire, dire, dire situation. Hey, it's terrible, I must say. Well, PPL, it's a very sad situation indeed. And, um, yeah, I mean, I, I do agree, PP, like you said, you know, um, yeah, and I mean, this is a great proposal from you. I hope government takes this up uh, very quickly, that there should be a provincial operation, you know, center uh, set up to coordinate everything uh, in an effective, you know, organized way, as opposed to one department doing their own thing here, mm -hmm. another there, the municipality, you know, uh, civil society, and then there's all kinds of, you know, issues and uh, a big mess. I think a well-coordinated system, uh, as you suggest, PP, is something we need, but uh, it's uh, it's disappointing uh, to hear that, you know, uh, there's a slow pace on the part of public servants in addressing these issues and certainly getting back to you, PP, man. Uh, I, I don't know. I mean, what do we do in, the, in a situation like this, PP? Do we have the powers to... to try and push for action uh, a, a bit faster here. Yes, I, I think, um, you know, um, as you would know, media has a very critical role to play. Um, I've seen a, a News 24, well, well, Newsroom, not News 24, Newsroom, uh, SABC. I think if they are there um, on the ground to just expose all these uh, issues of the public spaces, yourselves now, where we communicating, we speaking about all these issues. But you know what I would also say, I'm not promoting the Guamashu Business Forum or Business Chamber led by this uh, Mr. Sne, um, um, Maganga, I think. But that community, I think we've been speaking about this, Mr. T, all along. What can communities do? It shows the active citizenry. It shows people who can organize themselves. The issue of unity amongst communities, because you have that business chamber having your all business people, security companies, um, those who are in retail, um, the the professionals, they are together in this. All of them, they have they've contributed. They have their makeshift uh, kind of storage place where anyone who would want to contribute uh, anything, they will then uh, uh, deliver that day. Um, I think some of the people who are coming from Guamashu, they will appreciate uh, or they would know the situation, their security concerns. But that uh, business forum, they also work with the uh, taxi owners around the area. I remember yesterday, the uh, day before yesterday, they were also saying uh, people are looting because um, they are hungry. And there were those who were also blocking uh, streets. And they had to go and engage them that let's work together. Let's collate this. Let's um, uh, assist one another in the meantime, whilst waiting. Because if that uh, business forum chamber was not there, um, I, I don't know what would have happened. I think you've heard me saying as well. La way the 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 the, the, the in fact the the road is 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 blown. In fact, it's, it's destroyed, and um, the people who were uh, staying around the area they are still looking for their loud loved ones. They are digging themselves, and you cannot do that because they need police dogs. They need um, excavation uh, equipments. 
And those they wouldn't have because it's only government which can provide, especially police dogs, NIFA dogs, um, to trace uh, the, 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 those who are missing. You need big companies. Uh, in municipality should also be having uh, your, 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 your structures which can um, uh, look up for, 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 for those uh, families and dig and, and, and that. So I, I think uh, the, the, the more communities, I think we, we should also be learning from such disasters um, because if you can have communities coming together in each area. It, you know, in our small, um, you know, start small as communities because that's where the power of unity can be, um, you know, be used to deal with these systemic challenges. Uh, because if the community of Kwamashu and Uzuma, they can be able to work together uh, yes, the government, unfortunately, the services which government must provide, but at least for these two, three days, they are able to um, to to help one another. So I, I think it's, 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 it's commendable what they are doing. And I think uh, not only here, because even in Molweni, there were some business people who were also donating some uh, food parcels and stuff like that. Um but I think if communities can come together in each and every area and province, um, as uh, the people who are mostly impacted can be able to deal with this. I, I know other people are saying, no, we don't trust this. We can rather donate or be, we believe the um, gift of the givers. And in this situation, it's not an issue of competition uh, it's not an issue. It's so unfortunate that yes, some of the these companies I saw uh, one um, uh, Isabi has donated to gift of the givers and stuff like that. Yes, it's good, but then some of the companies instead of donating to the forums like these business forums, then they would rather go to those companies. But again, I think it's their choice to do that. And it will be as if they are able to change the livelihood of people. But I think we can also give those uh, 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 NGOs an opportunity. But I think, again, what is critical is that if each and every church, each and every community, we buy um, anything which we can buy, um, which is we can afford, because the more the merrier, and that will be very impactful. Um, whilst then still waiting for 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 government to do anything, their kids, they don't have uh, milk, they don't have uh, uh, clothes, uh, um, uh, no blankets, nothing. So if we can just as communities donate those individual items, and 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 it's helping because. At least it 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 it's 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 changing people's um well they they just see hope where there's no hope um while uh, still waiting the issue yeah yeah ye shelter unfortunately buildings are belonging to um uh, the especially my community halls and that but uh, you know there was one um uh, place a uh, in Tuzuma. This uh, pastor of East St. John's Church, the building is also very dilapidated. But he was saying, you know, I'm even willing to. There were there were families which were there, but I'm willing to even have if they have a, a makeshift tent to put a tent in my yard. I'm willing to accommodate people. So I think it's opening up more spaces for people to be accommodated because it's cold. And people are, are, are outside. I mean, there was one lady who was sitting there, an old lady saying, I'm not going anywhere. I just want my son. I think his son passed on. Um, so he wants any assistance to be helped to 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 just uh, trace his uh, the body of his son. So I, I think it's, it's just um, this opportunity gives uh, this uh, uh, disaster gives uh, communities an opportunity 
to work together. And another issue is the issue of the uh, of the local chiefs and indunas in areas where they are also, um, you know, uh, community leaders to bring their people together um, uh, to be able to 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 assist the communities, but as well to plead with the local business people to plead with the. Uh, local professionals, because if you are a public servant, you can be able to donate uh, or to buy, um, you know, food stuff and uh, and and have a place where everything can be stored there, be given to communities, uh, because that's what that uh, uh, Kwamashu Business Chamber is doing. They deliver um, a milli meal rice and some vegetables or anything they they have then they have uh, women who will take those and uh, uh, have a place where they can cook uh, for for the people so it's that kind of uh, arrangement which is is being done currently all right uh, no thanks uh, pp oh so much happening and again all of this uh, falls back on you know your your point on the coordinated effort under the provincial operations center you have proposed uh, hoping that government is listening and they'll take that up uh, pp if you don't mind we'll take uh, some questions uh, now definitely and I, I think this is also an opportunity for people to submit uh, any uh, well the the names because some families uh, you well government was saying it's only 20, 27 people uh, missing currently the number is what 398 but i think we need forums like this where we can ask any person to submit their names possibly mr t those who are in this forum or even there for their neighbors and families and also, if they have any needs which can be submitted, uh, enlist their names with you um, or uh, with me. And I'm also having um, Opa here uh, from, from the Public Protector Office. If we can get all those names, at least if we have the list and we can um, approach then um, the, the provincial department because we will have... In fact, we have a team now as PPSA, which will have to start then engaging the the, the various departments uh, on Tuesday, um, uh, so that we can move with the assisting people. Because what we are currently doing as well is that um, whoever is able to donate anything, um, we are also requesting them uh, to do that and I'm seeing um, provinces they are calling upon people to donate I think um, that's all what we can do as as, 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 as communities but um, not forgetting that uh, indeed government has a bigger role to play and they have the resources for that and those resources should be used and it's an opportunity for them as well because one thing which is the failure in this municipality is the issue of not impl- enforcing bylaws, which is very critical because I think this is an opportunity to start from scratch, rebuild, comply to the bylaws because you can't allow a person to build in areas where people were building. So I think they will also have to then uh, correct that issue uh, of how um, people are allocated uh, spaces and how the issue of, especially the, the issue of uh, spatial planning, which we know um, is uh, apartheid-related uh, spatial planning, but um, whatever they can do to make sure that people are building in very uh, safe spaces and uh, there's also the issue of uh, the engineering part, how uh, some roads have been constructed, how some buildings have been constructed. It's also very critical, but I think we can also hear from other communities, other people. We will know that, and uh, we can even give uh, people our email address, um, and it will help if communities can cluster themselves, send us those names, so that we can um, deal with this in a systemic uh, format. Thanks. Thank you so much, uh, PP, for that. Uh, definitely. Uh... 
yeah, let's uh, see what we can do to connect uh, everything and, you know, get all the help uh, needed uh, to KZN. Uh, with us uh, this evening, the Public Protector of South Africa, Advocate Busisu Mkweba, on the ground in KZN, assessing the situation and trying to see what can be done, where might we do better, and so on. Of course, we've covered quite a bit so far, you know, the role of... Uh, community, uh, NGOs, uh, you know, government, uh, preparedness, you know, uh, of course, uh, another point that PP brings up, uh, which we often forget in these situations too, and that is uh, the one of, you know, apartheid uh, spatial planning, right? Uh, So this is a consequence of such too. So another one we need to tackle there. Uh, Thank you so much, everyone, for being with us uh, yeah, let's hear from our speakers, uh, you know, uh, comments, questions, and so on. Uh, we've got um, Bokela, my sister. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, good uh, evening to the public protector, uh, a very uh, knowledgeable person, and uh, surely a person that is on the ground we should trust in this process. Uh, I'm talking to you, colleagues or guys or friends or fellow South Africans from the Eastern Cape. Uh, I was just watching news now. The situation in KZN is depressing. Uh, And more especially with the fact that uh, as a person that is working in the space of education, we've got learners that mostly are going to miss school in this process and uh, most probably even the whole year because if you've got a person that doesn't even have a uniform that doesn't even have a house it therefore tells you that the situation is is a bit bad but what could have been my proposal would be uh, i remember there was a time where the entire country was galvanized uh, to support haiti at the time that it was facing an incident of this nature I do not know, perhaps we couldn't have that kind of a campaign uh, where we try to drum up support. Uh, maybe even say that uh, a person can donate a, a 10 rand, uh, but if you were to say that I must make donation, maybe 1,000 rand to me would be a bit uh, uh, difficult. But if you were to say, let's each of us donate 10 rand, help the most uh, impoverished uh, communities that are affected because what one cannot run uh, away from is a knowledge that the billions that have been uh, committed by a national treasurer, you'll find that uh, the person that has no knowledge of how to sign a form and all of that, a person that would have been uh, maybe depending on a social grant will struggle to even get um, that kind of su- of support or that kind of funding because there's going to be a terrible red tape that is going to be there on what one needs to do in order for him or her to get this and that. So I were to say there could be a way to which uh, maybe we talk to the uh, networks that we have in South Africa and say, uh, if I send the help case at 10, uh, it will take 10 rand from my account of a time and that it gets to be sent to the most uh, poor communities in that area. So that uh, we try to coordinate uh, this outside maybe government and outside maybe um, this society to be established institution because the issue of trust deficit, uh, it's something that is real and it's premised from the previous experiences that people would have had or would have seen uh, because you would even ask now if you can go to KZN, and you find that there are businesses that could not, that were never helped even from the July incident. So this is a real, uh, but this one now, it touches uh, the most uh, poorest people who wouldn't even have a time, who wouldn't even have a cell phone, uh, but they largely depend to whatever kind of support that could come from anyone. So that would be my 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 submission. And lastly, I think it wouldn't uh, be unfair or maybe be judgmental to those people that are, are really having a question and uh, having a problem in being able to donate because of how 
public funds in most instances have been uh, uh, utilized and used the wrong. And even now you have had, uh, you might have seen or read uh, the Honorable Member of Parliament, uh, Tata Olomisa, who was saying that uh, I hope that this time around this money will be sent to the intended people and it will not be misused. Um, so it therefore tells you that there is just going to be people that are, are going to be left out because there are individuals that are known that they're going to have their hands in the cookie jar. So we we might need maybe to 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 think broadly and try to 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 help because it's devastating what you see in case then you see it in social media and you can see that really people are going to struggle for a better part of this year and maybe even next year and as a and maybe as a as a as a province in eastern cape when you look at some of the goods that we get in case then including petrol it therefore tells you that even us are going to feel the pinch but it wouldn't be in the same scale as those ones that don't even have a roof uh, on top of their head thank you very much uh, uh, colleagues and uh, thank you very much public protector Thanks. Uh, thank you so much, uh, my sister, for your submission. Uh, much appreciated. Uh, I'm sure the PP heard and she'll come in shortly. Let me just also, before I forget, acknowledge uh, the good work that the Public Protector's Office does. Uh, Braupa here and many of his colleagues, you know, these are people uh, we might not see every day before cameras and stuff, but, uh, you know, they are helping in making sure that the PP's office operate in, in the way that it is uh, very effective, there for the people, accessible and more. So I just want to say thank you so much. It's really uh, so such a good thing to have a PP office that is there for the people that, you know, you can pick up the phone and, you know, uh, call and get the help you need. Uh, we really need this in a democracy, and I, I thank them for that. PP, did you want to weigh in on uh, what Dawson Botella says there? Thanks, uh, Mr. T. Um, thanks, uh, um, Botella. Um, you know, I think uh, it's true what you're saying, that, you know, the way people have lost trust um, in the system and uh, how the COVID funds were used, how the business, the very same business people uh, who didn't even receive any cent from the COVID funds uh, relief. But now if that money is donated to who must it be donated to? So you mean possibly the public donates to the uh, business forums or to the organizations. I, d I don't know how can that um, be facilitated um, because hey, the situation indeed is very, very, very dire, um, Bokhtala, because if you have people who don't have anything, anything, um, those school children not having uniform birth certificates, matriculants not having their matric certificates, no IDs, uh, nothing, no furniture. I mean, one house, the one I'm referring to in, in, Bolueni, in Molueni, where the whole house, the well, they said it's a quantum, uh, polo, uh, the whole house, the whole furniture, everything just was swiped um, or well taken or uh, removed from the face of the earth. Uh, so it's, 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 the situation is that dire. Imagine yourself now not having anything, remaining with the clothes which you are wearing. So um, indeed it will have serious uh, 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 repercussions for uh, all of us um, uh, because uh, some places were not even having um, you know, fuel, some not having vegetables or anything to, to just buy and, and provide uh, assistance. But then I think possibly if there could be suggestions on how uh, each and every uh, uh, community can contribute and, and assist. Hence I said, um, churches uh, and especially donating uh, food stuff and uh, buying uh, things for the 
local communities, clothes and uh, blankets. It, it will help because possibly that will reduce the issue of some people embezzling funds because that is very critical because if you are going to be um, managing people's uh, finances, it's it's very critical that we, 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 we find people who will be making sure that those families are assisted. Because some of them, yes, they don't even have a cent to bury their loved ones. Um, they, they can't uh, do anything. They don't even have uh, blankets, bed, and, 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 and all those. So some things you would want to, or you'd need money to do instead of just uh, buying and, and submitting whatever grocery to, to the, to the uh, storage facility. Awesome. Thank you, PP. Thank you so much for that. Mr. GT uh, Dumela, good evening. Uh, uh, good afternoon, Mr. T. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I just want to go straight to the point, PP. Yeah. Uh, good evening. Uh, we are having a serious issue now. We are coming from Corona, and now it's this. What's next? We are asking ourselves what, what is going to happen next. Now, PP, we know that uh, there are vultures out there and there are other organizations that are built just because to loot money uh, due to this flood. PP, can you, uh, can you please uh, put a close eye on one billion that is going to be uh, donated by Copta and all uh, organizations. Can you please put an close eye to them because there are many things that are going to happen. Many families are not going to be subsidized and uh, uh, some money will be looted. Can you please put a close eye because we put uh, faith and trust on you and your team that you are going to be to do a marvelous job on putting a close eye because you don't want to see what happened about 500 uh, billion that was donated uh, during COVID. And now this money, it is not supposed to go to people who are going to benefit on it. It's supposed to help those vulnerable families and bury those uh, souls that have been lost. Mm. Thank you. PP? Yes, uh, Mr. If possibly we can get a lot of other comments and then I'll, I'll handle those. But then I think that's why I said um, we requested the least uh, of all the affected communities from the Guamashu Business Forum, but also for the Molweni uh, people who are in the community hall we've list, requested the list so that's what we will be doing because if we send the list of those people who are directly impacted to the department of social development to the uh, department of human settlement at least we would be able to monitor and check whether those people are assisted we also have a list from Guaduguza uh, community uh, uh, who are also impacted they are in a community hall there uh, which I'll also be visiting tomorrow so if we have that that's what we will be doing but I also said uh, the human, the uh, uh, auditor general they've, I've seen they've also announced that they will be monitoring the, the, the finances but we will also have a meeting either tomorrow or on Monday and we will see how we can work with them and coordinate with them indeed to make sure that the monies which are donated or the monies which are availed are used for the peoples which they are supposed to be used. Awesome. Thanks, uh, PP. Thank you so much for that. I think Brother Sandile uh, uh, Sangweni is going to be joining us uh, from Komashu Business. Uh, is he with us already? 
Uh, yes, I am. Um, oh, oh, there you are, my good, brother. Welcome. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, good evening, Mr. T. Uh, good evening, PP, and everyone who's listening. Uh, I'd like to firstly start off by thanking um, the PP for visiting us, obviously for offering the time to come and see us uh, in Guamashu. Um Without being too repetitive, what, what what I'd like to see from what I'm listening and hearing from uh, most of the people on the on the on this platform is maybe within all our communities, wherever we are, whatever help we're getting, let's just make it a habit of noting it, so that when it comes to actually accounting, because we need to account to these people who are donating to us, let's make it let, let it'll make it easier for us to be able to account. And the people that we're helping, let's try and get stats. So when the relevant de departments are coming in, um, your health, your SASA, your home office, at least we've got the stats of what which people we're helping and what help they they, they need so that it, it's easier for government. So when government comes in, uh, the process is much more fluid. Uh, secondly is donations. There's no little donation. I had a one of the previous listeners talking about uh, maybe a 10 rand or a thousand, even a 10 rand goes a long way to someone who has nothing. Uh, it helps in preparing a meal, a meal that they might not have had, had you not uh, donated that particular 10 rand. So let's work within our communities, but within working in our communities, let's do things right. Um, and lastly, I just like to thank all our um, partners being um, all the security guys and all the law enforcement guys within the community of Inc. Inanda and Tuzumagwamashu who've come in and actually tried and secure and tried and given time away from their businesses to come with us. The taxi associations, Wamashu Taxi Association, Association, Greater North, those guys, um, if if you have anything of a donation and you can't make it to Wamashu, you see in Wamashu taxi, any taxi, you can stop and give it to the driver. They will then give it, uh, they will take it to the closest taxi rank. And there we have people who are gathering things and bringing it to our central command in F section Wamashu. Uh, so taxi associations in Wamashu have, have played, they are playing their part. And thank you very much. Business people, SMMEs, are coming on coming on board they, every day. They're delivering food, so people are having uh, a meal. At least we're serving two two meals a day, uh, making sure that people have at least something to eat. We've got lots of people bringing clothing. We also give them our clothing. Rain has started again today, so the conditions are quite miserable. Even worse, so for a person who already is destitute and has nothing, so there's no little that help here. Uh, we've given, I think. I've been going around door to door families around our neighborhood. There's no little because to someone who has nothing, who just woke up and left in the middle of the night and their house was washed away. Uh, what you might see as an old pair of sandals, old pair of, of sneakers will help until they get the, they back up on their feet. So within our communities, let's work within our communities and help people around. And we have, if we have more to spare, let's share with the neighboring communities. I think first, the most fo the most important thing currently is the humanity in all of this is let's help where we can help we'll look at the politics and that dynamics that we live in society later on right now let's help where we can help and let let's um, let's also be accountable uh to those that are re receiving goods from communities to actually give give, give them through and be honest and uh try and make this process as fluid as can so we can try and get back life to, to normality as soon as we can thank you Thank you. Thank you so much. Brasandi Le Sangweni there coming uh, from Kwamashu uh, Business Chamber. Uh, thank you so much, my brother, man, for, for joining us. I know you are busy and uh, we appreciate you coming through with an update and really emphasis on, you know, some of our priorities and, uh, you know, what's needed, how we might do that. And I, my biggest takeaway from what you said was that, you know, we need to make it a habit uh, to you know, take note or keep record of uh, the help that's being received, uh, you know, not only for accountability, but also to, to try and help us in trying to, you know, keep track of uh, things that we need. For instance, you know, uh, items that might need to be prioritized and such. And I think that falls under, you know, the PP's proposed, uh, you know, coordinated effort under a provincial, a provincial 
uh, operation center. So, no, we appreciate uh, all of that from you, Brother Sandy. And I hope you can stick around in case, you know, people do have uh, questions uh, for you, my brother. Uh, we'll hear from Basipo and then we'll go back to PP to see if he wants, she, she wants to engage uh, Basandi list points as well as uh, uh, Basipo. Sipo, good evening. Uh, good evening, good evening, Mr. T, and um, and the rest of the the, the house. Um, I uh, actually also wanted to <clears throat> to weigh in on the matter at hand. Um, look, it's very devastating the situation that we are faced with in 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 case at but my my contribution around this will be to say one of the things that I was thinking since I'm in Jobek will be to say probably those of us who are on this space um, this evening who live in Johannesburg, if there was a way uh, that maybe tomorrow we can meet, decide um, and we can talk on our on our DMs um, and and share information, exchange numbers. And, and 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 try to see how best um can we be able to assist uh, with the situation in case and and and, <clears throat> and I think I concur with Sandile when he says I think the time for politicking now um is not going to assist us that is something uh for 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 the aftermath um uh, what is needed now is for us to assist because since for for, for me since I'm around Johannesburg uh, I think uh, I might have seen um offices of the gift of the givers <clears throat> and we will check with other organizations as well we might as well also assist with what we have <clears throat> in terms of clothing and <clears throat> and cash that is at our disposal but <clears throat> one of the things that i would have <clears throat> wanted to to check with usandi if is he able to actually give us his his numbers and that of the Guamashu Business Forum, so that we can be able to see how best we can we can assist in in this situation. And, and our condolences to families that have lost their loved ones. Look, it's very devastating. Um, one family that lost about five members is the Gilega family, and the Sokela family, where a man lost all his actually four kids. So, but mine will be to say, for those who are here in Jobek, look, um, let's wake up tomorrow, if possible, let's meet, let's see how best we can help in this situation that is so devastating in Wasul Natal. Um, politics later, so mine, it's that, Mr. T. Um, look, <coughs> I'm available, let's exchange numbers, but as for Sandile, can he be able to give us his numbers and that of uh, the for forum that he, he he represents thank you thanks Abbasipo. thank you so much uh, for that and uh, very quickly I, I did also get a message from a listener which reads and that this will please ask where in Jobek uh, we can uh, one can uh, uh, make a drop off I'm packing the house and I'd like to donate clothes and shoes for kids so, uh, yeah, uh, some people around Jobek, uh, you know, are trying to figure out how might they help. And uh, perhaps, Prasandile, please, uh, if you can come in uh, to answer Prasipo and we'll go to PP. Thank you. Um, Prasipo, um, th thank you very much for that. Uh, we are, I, will, I, I am able to give you my, our numbers. I will put it up on Mr. T's um, timeline and also put it up on, on my one. Uh, for our details, my details as a spokesperson of Guam Mushroom Business uh, Chamber and also for um, the contact person we have. I'll also give the details. It's, uh, it's just that the Joburg site was only today we proposed that we, we, we have a Durban, uh, a Joburg site uh, together. We had a phone call from a couple of uh, people in the entertainment industry who actually wanted to come down next week um, Tuesday or Wednesday, so they will be setting up a drop-off site uh, in Joburg and then bringing it down to uh, to Durban uh, for that. For that, so I will send out all the relevant details. I will put it up on the on both the timelines. Thank you. Thank you so much, Pipi. I think uh, Sandile, maybe, and what you've said is very critical. You said 
uh, I don't know, a, a, a Jobek uh, and any other province uh, for the taxi associations which are drive uh, well, yeah, living from Jobek to 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 Guamash or to KZN. I think possibly you can also facilitate with them, um, if uh, people can then uh, take those. Um, donations to the le- local taxi um, associations, I, I think that will, will, will also help because indeed uh, um, the biggest um, uh, need is there's lots of children, lots of women, men who are not having anything to wear but the clothes which they are uh, having and uh, I uh, the issues of uh, water because also water is very very critical. I don't know whether today it has improved, but there were local um, water tanks which were moving around uh, um, delivering water for people. But maybe Usandile can also indicate what are the needs um, and uh, things which people can can donate. Uh, on the other hand, I think the issue of um, uh, money, which ooh, 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 the, my sister mentioned earlier, because if you have an organization like this, they wouldn't want but, to be but, having but their decreed. Yes, they are there. Simple. So I don't know whether uh, this business forum in Gaza Imali is about to, but if we have to hold them to account, because Imali is very easy. If you are far and you want to donate money, um, it will help. But then I think the best way is whatever you'd want to donate. I don't know, Gay Sandile, your structures in other provinces, especially the taxi association, Uguti Network, Yabo Injani, where you can then allow people to send the donations because Nati C Public Protector, we said our various offices will request them to donate whatever they would want to donate. And some people were not comfortable to deposit money. Uh, there's something I've also retweeted a, a cocktail where they were saying people who'd want to donate because I was thinking would possibly those who won't have resources to bury their loved ones and all those um I think um, it was an opportunity for people to send cash. It's very easy to to send money than buy and 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 send ama goods. So, I think if we can have those uh, 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 drop in centers or where we can drop um, the, the the donations and those donations can be facilitated. And I think Nikwa Mashu, you can also then liaise with other business forums around KZN. Um, to 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 distribute to whatever people have have, have donated. Uh, thank you, thank you, PP. Uh, the job one, we we will liaise with the um, with the with the relevant taxi associations uh, between Durban and obviously and Joburg, uh to see if they can can't also help. Uh, but we do have uh, a couple of guys with trucks that were were willing to bring stuff down if it came to being truckloads of stuff. Uh, on the financial, as well as the stuff that's been donated, we will be actually we will we do have an open book process. So whatever funds that we are getting will be accounted for. Nothing will be kept secret. Anyone who needs to see them, uh, we will be putting up obviously how much that we are gathering on a particular at at, at a particular time, and it we actually have no. It, it's an open book process it's not money that's coming to us it's not our money it's money that belongs to the community and the community should know and everyone who's donating should know where their money is going and how it's been handled lovely thank you so much for that possible accountability certainly at times like this is so important no really appreciate the work you're doing my brother man thank you so much uh, toy my brother thank you Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, no, thanks. Thanks so much. And good evening to everyone. Uh, maybe let me start by appreciating the, the space. Um, we, I don't take this for granted. You know, um, it's always a privilege to engage with um, the office or the offices that um, are responsible to look after our, 
um, I mean, South Africans and everyone that is in the country. So um, I just have a few points that I want to put up and I would like for the public protector to comment on. Um, and also, I just want to concur with all the other listeners who have raised the concern. I mean, South Africans, they, ju they didn't just wake up and decided that, you know what, we're not going to trust um, our government. It's men. So, um, I, I mean, we, 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 we've, we've we we we've, we've got um a record of 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 government officials doing all these um, um um incredible things you know with funerals i mean they they don't care they don't care what 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 the situation is i mean there are many people who have lost their loved ones during covid and 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 people were just taking and stealing and all that let me not dwell on that but i wanted to check with the public protector's office one now that you you uh, there's a call that um, the public protector's office must keep a close eye, the office of the auditor general is say the same thing that they are going to I mean um, um, keep a close eye on the funds that are given. I just want to understand what does that entails? What is this close eye? What does it mean? And what is the chance of success in terms of what is going to happen? Because um, I mean we have had this, we have had. Uh, funds being stolen and all those kind of things. I mean, with people that are given responsibilities, um, um, I mean, to disperse these funds. Now, um, that is number one. I just want to understand what does it mean when you say I'm going to keep a close eye? Because the president once made a statement to say that whoever that is going to be found stealing the COVID uh, funds, they are going to be dealt with and all that and that and that and that. And today, where we are today, it looks like it, it was just a lip service. You know, it looks like it was just a lip service because we are not seeing um, a lot of, uh, I mean, action taken against those people. Others are just asked to say, uh, you must return the monies, you must do that, you must do that, of which I don't believe it's, it's supposed to be like that. That's number one. Two, I just wanted also to check. Now, um, a municipality, has a responsibility to enforce bylaws, right? Now, what happens in this situation? I mean, KZN, I've lost my loved ones. Now, the municipality that has a responsibility, I, 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 I like the part where the public protector says that now they've got a, a chance to do things right. But because we do acknowledge that they've done things wrong by allowing people to be in spaces that are not conducive, what happens now? I have lost. Um, the gentleman has mentioned that there is a father that lost about four of his kids. Does this father has any recourse to say, "Look, I'm taking the municipality to court. I don't want to sound political. Forgive me. I want to take the municipality to court to account for having failed to uphold these bylaws that led to me losing all my family and all the other people and all that. I just wanted to check if there's any recourse for families that have lost their loved ones." under a municipality that has failed to uphold the bylaws. That is number two. So um, another thing that I wanted to check um, I'm, I'm with, the, with, the, with, the, with the office of the, of, the, of, the, of the public protector is that um, how do we now um, go about a situation where um, 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 we, 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 we observe and see that there are organizations or individuals who are using these uh, donations and all that. How do we go about um, reporting this? You know, I, I mean, it has happened in many cases where you open a case. I, I, I think, I don't know how cases are dealt with. Um, there are other cases that it will be reported today, someone will be arrested. And then there are cases that we have seen people going to police stations and open cases, but we, have, we never heard anything about that. So I just wanted to check that uh, um, 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 what is the, the, the line of, of, of reporting this and trying to maybe arrest the situation before it escalates and, 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 and all those issues. So if the public protector can at least maybe uh, touch, but the most important part is that I want to understand when you say they will put an eye, what does that mean? What does it entail? And, and what is the chance of success around that? Because it's the same most politicians who are going to be around these funds and who are going to be dispersing these funds and all that. Thank you so much.
Thanks. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Troy, for that. Um, we'll hear from David and then we'll let the public protector engage both your points and uh, that of uh, David. I mean, Troy brings up uh, very important uh, points, you know, what's what's meant by keeping an eye on something as well as, you know, uh, how might one go about reporting on organizations that, uh, you know, either misusing uh, or have got funds missing. Uh, you know, funds that are meant for situations like this, uh, such as, you know, KZ and floods uh, at the moment. So thank you for that, uh, Toy. David, uh, long time. Welcome. Uh, Mr. Tewu and uh, the list and the listeners, you know, the space. Um, uh, guys, you know, I guess the country is uh, in pain, you know, that whatever happens in Wazulu Natal, um one some guys were debating whether it's a natural disaster or not you know as you know our people they are op- opinated but i can tell you it's a natural disaster and as people we should take responsibility as well because blaming game blaming government for all our ills is not going to take us anywhere knowing uh, where we come from i mean the gentleman just reminded us about the COVID funds, what happened. And uh, I just want to raise some few, few points, you know, and Sandile and his uh, uh, um, uh, co- colleagues in Wamashu Business Forum and other areas where people organize themselves, thumbs up to, to them. And Patrice Mutsipe as well today, donating the money, you know, I think it will come handy. But my only worry is that our people nowadays are more focused on uh, this narrative that black people are co- corrupt, you know, and painting everybody with one brush. I can rest assure you, you know, what I've heard about uh, uh, care for the givers, that most companies, when we approach them, they'll tell you about care for the givers. And care for the givers cannot um, uh, 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 be able to go in all the areas. But by uh, this bureaucracy of saying the corporate world, will only give care for givers. That alone needs to be looked upon. Why? Why this bureaucracy? And this issue of mistrust, because the society itself, as I said earlier, must take responsibility. Sometimes I understand that there's no land because this expropriation, land expropriation without compensation is taking long. Our own government is letting us down. People live in an area where they're not supposed to live at all. And uh, I mean, if I build... My house in a lake, obviously, there'll be proper problems in the future. And uh, uh, if water comes in, it will wash me away. Or in a lagoon, or anywhere else. So the government must make sure that they give people land. Because that's the responsibility, not necessarily even houses. Some people can build houses for themselves. But this issue of of mistrust as well, if you remember very well, I heard Mbalula as well, uh, saying that, there won't be any corruption. Those are politicians. The president said so as well, and we know what happened. But I don't want us to dwell much into that because the same people, uh, our own black people, they are more concerned about other blacks getting jobs from all, all these things. Obviously, somebody has to do to the job. Those companies who have to do the job has just to account. They have to be looked upon. But this issue of saying, you know what, black is black, you know, is corrupt, I, I think we must refrain from that because if you remember well, Mr. Trevor, in 2010, we had stadiums. We had five biggest company in the in this country. You know, your WPHO of this world, your Stefan, your Stocks, your Group 5, and Murray and Roberts. Instead of us being very uh, uh, straight about the matter, that they were corrupted and they colluded in that co- corruption, but that corruption way did not come out. It was, no, these companies co- collided. And the same uh, tra- treasure which we have in this country, did not even blacklist one company out of those out of those companies. What they do, they just pay a fine, and their life goes on. And I can tell you now, now, all those people, because of our attitude as black people as well, the guys who are gonna milk up these these funds are European white companies, and our people perhaps they are now comfortable. They don't care as long as it's white, it's okay. And Indians, in particular, in De- in De- Devon, because they dominate that area. That space. I'm saying everybody across the board, across c- color line, because this issue of rainbow nation does not exist for, for me. And I can tell you now, 
as well as black people, we must not paint everybody with one brush. Let those who are, 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 are going to account for all the funds will do so, irrespective. But this mistrust, you know, Sipo on the background was saying, yeah, Guys, I mean, people are spending their, 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 their time and they started something which I think it must go all over the country. What I've seen and what I've heard about Guamachu Business uh, uh, Chamber, which represents the people. It's not only in Wamashu, but by the way, they go all over the places on Tuzuma, Lindelani. Uh, uh, you know, they go all over the all, all, all over those those areas. For us to cast as patients that they're gonna eat money, I can tell you then therefore it means we have to we have to close down the shop. I mean, the guys must close, must close down their shop because there's already a mistrust. People are saying they are gonna eat the money. I don't think it's fair. I mean, people are, are, are contributing their time and no one forces them to do so. Those companies, some of them, they're spending even their money for their families to help because that's Ubuntu. That's what we're told by our, our, our parents, that Ubuntu must always exist. But for us now to start pointing fingers at one and say this and that, this time, we don't need that. And in fact, the government is a bit late. They were supposed to have a, a already organized like they did when there was a riot in Wazulu Natal, where there were, there were soldiers. This time, four days down, down the line. I've been in Wazulu Natal. I've seen, I can tell, I've never seen even one, one soldier. A and I'm saying perhaps on other areas they are there, but I'm saying, guys, let's have confidence we, with our people as well. We should not behave like, you know what, one potato spoils the whole potatoes. No, guys, there's people who are honest who are doing good job for if you can go out there and see why what is happening it's very painful sitting on a, a on a chair and being an armchair critic what won't help those those poor 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 families there and nobody's going to force anyone to help anyway but i'm saying let's refrain as well of pointing fingers unnecessary we know those people who are going to steal this money they are they, they, their time will come they will have to account but I'm saying for us to start now to say, no, people will steal money. Come, come on, guys. We can do, do better than that. And in fact, this is for me an international disaster. You know, and, uh, and, and not necessarily. I'm happy that one guy from Johannesburg came up, uh, I mean, come up with a, 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 a strategy of helping all those people who are suffering in Wazul Natal. But the better we do, actions speak louder than words. We have to, to do that, all of us, and help every com community, those who are facing this problem, which we all know in this country by, by now. And the government as well have to pull up their socks. I guess uh, they have to be a, a, a responsibility on their side, because remember that that's the job which we make sure that they are there, you know, to, to, to help us, not sitting and, and, and just talking. Let's do, let's take our hands, all, all of us. Thank you, Mr. Chiu. Thanks, uh, Deza. Thank you so much for that. Uh, uh, PP, I'll let you address uh, both uh, Deza and Troy, and then we'll move to Constitution and Gartley. Okay, uh, Mr. T, uh, the issue of how we're going to be monitoring um, how the money is used. Remember, I indicated at the beginning that once we get the list from all the community leaders, for instance, the Guamashu Business Chamber, they will give us the list of all the beneficiaries they have. We requested the same list from uh, Molweni. Uh, I said tomorrow I'll be in uh, an, uh, around Guadugusa, but already they've sent the list of the beneficiaries of people who need are uh, desperately needing help. And I think the biggest issue which we will have to do as an office is liaising with the various MECs or the various, I hope that structure, which is a coordinated structure, will be established because that's where we will be sending their names and indicate these are the needs of the various communities. If they need uh, those temporary structures, which must be built, they need blankets, they need clothes, uh, they need um, uh, enabling documents like your IDs, your uh, birth certificates. Um, so 
that's how we will be following up on those beneficiaries because that's all what we can do for now. And I indicated that we will also have a meeting with the, the Forum of Institutions Supporting Democracy, the, the AJS, uh, AGSA, is, is is part of that particular forum and they monitored the COVID funds. I think they indicated how those monies were spent and uh, even in this particular instance, I think they will have to oversee that particular process. But also in cases where there is a, a, a red flags or in cases where people are not following the processes, then they will raise it immediately and uh, surely that will have to be addressed. So I think uh, possibly, David, the issue which people are raising is not uh, per se against the community forums or the Guama Shoe Business Forum. They are, they don't trust government. Uh, remember the local uh, MEC or local cooperative uh, 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 COCTA has circulated a business account for people to deposit monies. So people don't want to send monies there because they feel possibly those monies will be um, uh, embezzled by the officials. So hence they would want to find other means to to provide assistance. What I would say as well to the um Guamashu Business Forum or the, the 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 NGOs which are or any community forum which is represented here and where we agreed that possibly because they would have the taxi association which is part of the uh, uh, chamber they will also be able to collect and uh, uh, any uh, groceries clothes and anything from any province so that it's not only for the communities maybe around Guamashu, Intuzuma, Lindelani, and Mulweni, and and Inanda, but also see how they can network, especially with other taxi forums, because they are also those forums are in the communities, and they are also would be able to distri uh, distribute to, to other areas, which is a good thing which the communities are doing for themselves. But as public protector, we'll have to make sure that the monies which are allocated for that purpose, because the issue of provision of food, the pr issue of provision of water, children with disabilities, women and people with disabilities, vulnerable communities, elders, will have to be provided with accommodation. And if it means that uh, the Department of Human Settlement, which the MEC promised that they will be building temporary structures, since I said those structures must be built in such a way that they are compliant as well to bylaws. And I think with our process as public protector is that when we engage with the department, we will then see which matters needs investigation uh, which investigation will then recommend remedies which will prevent the recurrence of the similar uh, 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 improper conduct. Because it means if there's failure by the local municipalities, district municipalities and everyone to enforce the bylaws, they'll have to go back and make sure that bylaws are implemented. People are building their houses in, in places which are not susceptible to the similar uh, uh, issues of, of, of disaster because I think what we've seen uh, is, is, is way, way, way disastrous where people are allowed to build. Yes, I agree with the issue of them uh, availing land which is habitable for people to be able to build their houses. Again, going back to the issue of uh, special planning which we're still dealing with but then we have a government, especially which is the ANC, which is in 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 power, which will be able to to oh they are supposed to be making sure that people are allocated and they are availed a uh, land which is habitable uh, going forward. I hope um, I've addressed your your, your questions. Um, Thanks, uh, PP. Thank you so much for that, PP. Uh, let's go to Constitution and then we'll go to Kartli and other speakers. Constitution, welcome. 
Yes, uh, uh, good evening, Mr. T. Uh, uh, good evening as well to the PP and, and other speakers. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to thank you, Mr. T, for having this space uh, because not all of us are, are in KZN. So we get to read about what is happening there uh, from newspapers and, and as well from and can and, and get information from television. But but we do appreciate as well uh, that the PP has managed to go uh, to, to the places where this thing is happening, these floods are happening. And, and as well, we have to appreciate the national departments which have descended to the place. I think they, they went there on the second or third day uh, after the event. Um, the affected municipalities seem to be on board a big or small businesses as well seem to be assisting and 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 the media we have to appreciate what the media is doing uh, because almost uh, every day uh, they are telling us about the story there is is more or less the same as what is happening in russia our media is i can say on hourly basis get uh, new updates uh, volunteers as well um, and individuals uh, who have gone to the place and, and who are assisting, we have to appreciate those people. And, and those who are still wanting to go to KZN, I had one of, of, of the speakers saying uh, they want they would want to go to KZN and then see how they can they, they, they can assist. Yeah, it is very good uh, that we have such individuals uh, in our society. We have to appreciate uh, uh, such uh, uh, um, uh, initiatives. Uh, the second point, we said to I, I would like to concur with the public protector on her uh, concerns uh, about the pace of the public service. It's, it's, it's extremely, extremely slow. Uh, if, if, you, just, if you can make comparison between what has happened during the July unrest and, 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 and what will happen now, is so you're going to see a completely different picture. In the, during the July unrest, we had, uh, the private sector was heavily affected it was in July, but by October, most of the businesses were ready for December rush. They, they, they had already uh, uh, built up their, their, their supermarkets, and things were on board, cleaned up, everything was almost working. I, 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 there are factories which are still being renovated, but most of the malls were already up and running uh, for the December uh, 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 or Christmas uh, 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 holidays uh, uh, buying. But with the public service, what is likely to happen? Unfortunately, we are going to have another Charlotte Matrek where a, a structure gets a bent. Then it takes forever for the structure to be restored. Still forever, even today, you still hear the stories of Charlotte Matrek, which was bent the other time. Not, not just now, maybe it was last year or so. What is going to happen with this situation in KZN? The things because it's going to benefit a lot of people, these temporary structures, which the public protest is talking about, the temporary structures, the water cuts, these temporary measures, I'm telling you, those ones are going to last, are going to outlast the permanent solution. The permanent solution is going to take forever, the responses from human settlement, the responses from the local uh, COCTA and others, water affairs to put permanent structures in place, those things are going to take long. That's the, my only concern, which we are, having on this thing and, and 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 because temporary solutions are beneficial to local comrades i'm telling you is that those ones are going to last are going to last if someone doesn't monitor that part of 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 of, of these water cuts and temporary measures whatever is temporary the blank temporary blankets and this and that people renting out their places for to accommodate this those temporary measures as as, as the ones which we need to monitor uh, the expenditure to, towards those ones very closely. The third point, it's unfortunate, it is very unfortunate that all our concerns, all we had the same concerns during uh, before March in, in 2020 of the COVID looting. Again, we're having the same concerns now that this money, some of this money, because what 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 this the, the 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 government has done the ANC government has done has put in place they have put in place a a a, a COCTA department a cock a, a, a department national COCTA and provincial COCTAs to handle disasters 
uh, handle your true legislation, uh, put this thing regulation, put the disaster, this and that, and also coordinate uh, on the ground. But I think that, th- that thing is only good on paper. When the disaster uh, uh, eventually happens, everyone else gets on gets involved. You get so many st- all kinds of state, uh, this one involved on this part. And, 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 and as much as the public said, said this thing must be centralized, it will not necessarily be centralized will get uh, transport doing its own thing and someone else doing it that his own thing then then during that period of everyone doing something else then that's where you get loopholes that's where you get uh, a duplication of efforts you get a uh, uh, looting of resources during that period uh, because people will not we will hear stories of being under one one minister saying no i'm being undermined a provincial the national minister is coming to my space he has not consulted me. Those stories are going to be the story until June of people complaining about being undermined during this process and, 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 and some bypassing other structures which have been established to assist, to assist each other. More especially that we have elections of the ruling party in December. Uh, uh, okay, I see the hand from Mr. Let, let me conclude. More especially that we have local uh, elections of uh, 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 provis- uh, national elections of the ruling party. You will have most opportunist politicians coming to the space and, and, and trying to, 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 to show face that they are the ones who are actually driving uh, uh, this, the, the, uh, uh, this, these solutions which will, will come. Lastly, uh, as Mr. Tia, I think his hand was, was trying to say, I must wrap up. Yes, lastly, I, yes, lastly, I, what I've seen I'm not sure because I'm far. I'm also watching from TV. It it doesn't necessarily... What I've seen, not all houses are built in red zones. I've seen some houses in properly... Almost in proper places, in high up, where you don't have flood, flood, flood zones and this and that. But because sometimes the houses we build ourselves, uh, we don't have structural engineers and people who can do this thing, Perhaps government in future, because of these disasters are likely to happen, they must start to have a pu- public, uh, maybe engineers, who avail themselves to go to our communities when people apply with free, free of course, just to check the strength of, of whatever structure is going to be built and issue certificate and, and advices. Maybe that will uh, assist uh, in, in, in trying to uh, uh, save these some of these houses uh, which are, are, are being built in, in correct places, but... Uh, because they are not being properly checked and, and, and quality controlled by engineers, then, then, then that's the situation. Uh, uh, the PP put measures in place to ensure that people don't complain. I don't know whoever you, who you will be working with, that people don't complain that uh, the list is not, it, it includes public servants, it includes people who are not affected, at, and, and, and it's like, as we have with the uh, 350, wrong people are benefiting from the list, uh, which is going to be a channel to these relevant structures. And, and these blankets and building material are going to people who have not been affected whatsoever. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. T, and, 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 your, and your other speakers and PP. Thank you so much, uh, Constitution. Unfortunately, the PP is going to leave in about five minutes for another commitment. So what I'll do is uh, just run through everyone. If you have a question, not comments, just uh, if you have questions for the PP, we'll see if we can get them addressed before she takes off. If not, I'll hand them over to her office and I will do our very best to uh, bring you answers after those questions are submitted. Kati, please come in, my brother. Let's try and keep it at a minute each if we can do it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Tweewu. Kale bokhare Tweewu. Eh me busisi wem khwabana. Ya go le bogalwena. All I'm asking is that eh uh, PP can these funds be protected by any means necessarily because eh uh, me and you we know that there are corrupt individuals who are coming up for this funds PPE. So can is it? I don't know whether it's it's possible for for the hawks to be sent uh, to be an eye on these funds. Basata na ko isiti ili madi asiti a ajil. The hawks must be there to see whether these funds are distri- uh, distributed well to the vulnerables because these funds are for are for the vulnerables. They must not 
benefit these corrupt individuals. I don't know whether it's possible for the Hawks to be sent there. I thank you, Public Protector and Retu. Thank you so much, God. I appreciate that, my brother. We'll see what the PP says, if time permits. And please, don't don't uh, lose hope. If the PP does leave, we'll continue for a bit. So you are heard uh, if you are a speaker. Dr. Deza. Uh, thank you very much, Dr. Deza. I, I heard you mentioning my name earlier, but I should indicate that I haven't spoken yet. But due to the time constraint, let me just shoot my question. I will come back for the comment later, just in case when people have questions for the public protector. Wanted to find out, I see that Sandy Lay is gone and public protector is equally about to leave. I wanted to find out if there are any banking details for people who are not around. I know that a uh, indication has been made for collection points, but I'm still asking in terms of a uh, contributing money. Can a uh, uh, Sandile, I think, yeah, his name is Sandile. Make available those de- details, or if the PP has those details and uh, she's probably not in a space to provide them, Agahudi Sandela, Mr. Swim, and then you can make them available. I will reserve my comment for now, just for those who have questions. I will come back with my comments later on. Thank you so much, Dr. Teza Chair. Shem Wang, are you there? Uh, thank you, Mr. Timon. I'm having a difficulty with network. Perhaps it should pass. I'll come back later on. Thank okay. You. Thanks, leadership. Axman. Axman, can you unmute there on the left? Thank you, Mr. T. And uh, greeting to everybody in the space and greeting to our public protector. Unfortunately, Sunday is gone, uh, Mr. T. And the public court protector is still here available. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I wanted to talk to both of them. To me, Mr. T, uh, when you think of a billion donation, I, I think of the previous billion donation. So I get a little bit nervous. I don't know how the PA, the, the, the PPA is going to handle this uh, thing. But anyway, my, my contribution was suggesting this. Why are we not creating our own uh, gift of the givers through public protector and Sandile to create a first structure and maybe look around Devon or in the location where we can have a, a warehouse which will put those donations in and have a proper structure of, of this event. Because I can tell you some event that look like uh, uh, July last year is going to come. We're still going to have our people in trouble. So why are we not asking the public protector to help in establishing our own gift of the givers? Because this red tape of corporate will only give donation to gift of the givers. Right. It, 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 it doesn't sound very well for me because how the gift of the givers will reach the real people who are sitting in a bench as I'm talking to you now, it does not have anything. Okay? So if Sandy Le can help us to create a structure which could be another structure uh, or, 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 or in other provinces. We have another Sunday in other provinces. We have another Sunday in... in, yes, in, in yes, man. I'm sorry, I have to jump in. The PP has got to go, my brother. I apologize. 
So uh, let me just, uh, you know, quickly thank uh, the PP. And uh, I see we have Tlanga Mandla, um, but we will take Tlanga Mandla's question and, and forward it to the PP uh, as well. Uh, PP, <coughs> thank you so much for stopping. Mr. T, uh, I would say thank you so much for allowing us to have the spaces. Indeed, uh, people can send questions and uh, comments. Um, Sandile, I think, is still here. Uh, possibly you can um, allow him to remain as the speaker because um, the questions and the comments which were raised, the uh, Constitution, uh, you know, Mr. T, you know, the situation on the ground is not as we are seeing on TV. And I said it in my opening that people are so desperate. People are so left. Uh, they are left to fend for themselves. Hence, I said, if you don't have organizations which are there on the ground, like your business forums, like your, um, um, you know, um, well, I went to Guamashu, um, so, uh, 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 the Lindela and uh, the Molweni and the and the other um, um, community, and I said tomorrow I'll check Guatuguza, and the only thing we can do is get as much list as possible, and I am calling upon as well from various uh, uh, communities which are here. If you've got your member of the family, maybe Mr. T, you can also post it. In your page, we can just circulate. Those whose families are still missing, can you uh, indicate uh, and uh, so that we we can have the list? Because hence I said, the number of people which are said to be uh, missing, uh, it's more than that. I mean, like Wamashu, apparently it's a stretch of around a kilo to two kilometers of houses being wiped by the, by, by the floods. So... It's a number of people which are missing. And uh, on the issue of having the these community-based structures, like this business forum, which is willing to uh, open their books to be accountable, they can also be used and they are there. They've started doing this. They didn't get funds from any person, but they use their own resources to help their communities. I think that's one thing I'm still repeating as various as communities we should be having uh, because structures like those will then it's it's what we call uh, uh, active citizenry will then make sure that people stand on their own people are united uh, we have what we call spider web mentality which other nation uh, nationalities have and we support one another we have structures like those I think out of every tragedy and disaster, we need to learn. We need to uh, learn lessons and uh, going forward, be able to sustain ourselves. Because structures like this, once they also are united, they can also be able to take government on and stand for the local communities. Because that's what we are also promoting as an office is having a, as a public protector, having people to be their own liberators, to be their own uh, 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 protectors. Because if you stand up for your community, you hold the premier, you hold the MEC, you hold the HOD to account, then there will be service delivery. And I'm still saying that, unfortunately, three, four days down the line, communities, no, um, no movement. Uh, people are there just fending for themselves and uh, sleeping kuma neighbors' houses, others in those community halls, others in churches. So I, I think uh, possibly it will change, but Sandile maybe can indicate more because he's there daily and they are feeding the communities twice a day. Um, we'll also have to indicate whether unless there's something which has changed and there's some processes which have been put in place by the by the local municipality so um, besides the local municipality the provincial government but i i'm still saying 
it's worrying to 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 also face a situation where um, I've tried to contact various uh, public servants, various MECs. Some of them are not responsive. Some of them, yes, are responsive uh, because we will take the list. The MEC for social uh, human settlement is willing to help. Is uh, uh, we will be working with his office to do that. But I think let's uh, have a structure which is coordinated which uh, will be able to help the community uh, in a very structured uh, and and, and coordinated uh, manner so that you don't only get food and clothes, but then you still sleep on the street. So I think you'll still have to have your house being replaced. You still have to have a situation where everything is resolved for you in a a week's time. And I I get you, uh, Constitution and everyone, this shouldn't be a temporary uh, solution. The monies which are allocated, they should put people in the positions they were in before this disaster uh, took place. Because if you have a shelter, a roof over your head, let that happen. If the area is not safe, I must indicate as well that there, w- there are those other members of the public who are saying, we are accommodating the people whose houses have been uh, swept away by the floods. But then ourselves, we also want to be moved in the areas which we are at because we are at risk. Yes, our houses are still there. We can still accommodate them. But it shows that when we have another disaster, we might also not survive. Therefore, it means uh, this is a solution which is not supposed to be temporary and say we've provided people with accommodation. But it's a situation where then it's a, it's a special planning. And if it means cordoning of those areas and move people to areas where they can be accommodated permanently and also uh, places which are structurally and the engineers as well have advised properly that those areas, your, 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 your environmentalist, your uh, uh, quantity surveyor, Thank you, Mr. PP. Thanks, PP. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we really appreciate you stopping and uh, uh, keep up the good work on the ground, PP. We'll Thank stay you. in touch and I'll collect, uh, I'll collect the questions and uh, forward them to your office from those speakers who didn't get a, a chance to chat with you. That was the South African uh, Public Protector. Advocate Busiswe Mkwebani joining us uh, from uh, KZN, where she currently is, uh, you know, assessing the situation after uh, South Africa, uh, you know, KZN was hit by uh, uh, floods that really devastated <laughs> communities across the province. So we thank you, PP, and your office for coming in with updates. Uh, let's go to Dlangamanda, my brother. I'm so sorry. We'll try and get. No, it's okay, Mr. Tso. It's one delay, yeah. I just okay. changed my pseudonym. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> because I was becoming synonymous and I had to change the picture and, and everything because I was getting attacked on DM somehow. But nonetheless, thank you very much for the for the for the opportunity. But just in the in the instance of PP, I just wanted to say to her, good luck, my sister in your office and the hyenas out there. That's all I wanted to say to her, besides what I'm going to propose here, what I'm going to pre- present here. One, in one minute, I'll sum it up. <clears throat> Hist- historically, South African towns have towns and cities have always had a river around them. And in particular for the coastal province of KZN. I'm from KZN. I'm in, in Durban right now. I'm a victim of the flood. I'm watching it and I'm witnessing it. I'm witnessing it. The devastation is immense. If you are not here, I think you're better off because you don't get to see the pain. I think you're better off because you don't get, I see the pain, I leave the pain. I'm able to access myself water because I have the means. What about those who don't have the means? Think about that. I buy water every day. What about those who can't afford? But nonetheless, I do want to concur with Constitution in relation to the government and its response. I have yet to see people who respond so poorly. 
in the midst of a, 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 a pandemic or a disaster or whatever the case may be. It is just lackluster. <clears throat> it's like people are, n- are not in touch with reality. Now, that is one point. The second point is all these towns are built in tributaries and waterways. Particularly Durban is, in a, is, in a, is, is actually in, a, in an estuary. It's bound to happen. So when you do put engineering structures, I do want to hold the government responsible for the, des- for the damage. In fact, if I were able to charge them criminally, I would for vicarious liability because your staff members did not maintain, the people you employ did not maintain everything. There wouldn't have been such a damage had the structures been maintained. The debris is what you're finding at the end because there's just blockage everywhere. There was nowhere water could have gone. I mean, the neglect from our state over the last 28 years is vast. And we are here where we are today purely because of the neglect. A lot of the damage would not have happened. One, you allowed people to build in in waterways in the middle of a farrow that you know that natural water runs there. You allow them to build there. And then engineers who are actually signing off these structures from the municipalities, they sign it off. What are you signing off when you can see that somebody is built in a red zone? They sign it off because they get pockets. They get the, the, the cool drinks. Come on. We've got to do better. I mean, how on earth does this country do this? I mean, we are in Africa. I happen to be a victim of the, the floods twice, 1987 and now in 2022. We have not learned. In 1987, the apartheid government responded so swiftly, some of the roads were reinstated within a week. Watch how our comrades are going to do it. We're still going to be talking about this de- devastation in two, three years' time. And let me tell everybody who's out in, in the other provinces, if you think this is only affecting you emotionally, sorry, my friends, I have to tell you, the engine room of the South African logistics, which is the port, is at an absolute standstill, which means this devastation is going to be felt out and wide worsened by the roads that will not be able to deliver anything from you. So for those of us who understand logistics and who understand its structures, we we actually feel sorry for the South African public. We have no clue what the worst is about to come. And may the souls of those who were lost rest in eternal peace. God bless them. Yo, thank you so much, uh, my brother, and I'm um, so sorry, man. Uh, uh, thoughts, prayers, and love to you and the family. You know, it's very hard, but uh, extremely, extremely important that we hear from uh, victims on the ground. And here we are hearing uh, from a person that's been affected by this, not only once, but twice. And you can feel it in his voice. You know the pain, uh, the 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 frustration on the part of government and what can be done. So our hearts are with you and your family, your community, my brother. And please, we will do what we can uh, to help. I see Brother Sandile left. Uh, maybe he'll come back, but he did send me bank details. I'm going to share that soon. Um, uh, at the top in the space and on the timeline so that uh, Dr. Deza and others who are asking uh, can, uh, you know, uh, get the information. X-Man, my brother, I rudely cut you earlier on. Please, let's come back to you and then we'll check back in with others if you can finish your point. I apologize. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. T. Thank you very much for understanding. Yeah, to me, Mr. T., I don't believe in talking and talking and then we do we don't do anything. I think we is an unfortunate Sunday is gone again. P uh, P P is gone again. But my my request was 
why not create a structure that is going to be there forever to 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 manage this event in the future but currently for what is happening why not have that structure that can have a, a warehouse the bank account i think maybe the bank account is we said you you're gonna share with us the bank account and the, the warehouse where everything will be stored and retrieve according to the need of different community and be distributed to those community. At the same time, and we we have to make sure that that distribution is like audited. Uh, Sunday, they obviously open the books and we audit, the, 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 that thing get audited. Why we don't get that? Why we can't put uh, our uh, our head together and have a structure that is gonna be there for us. Thank you. Thanks, uh, X Man. Thank you so much for that, my brother. Really appreciate it. Share, are you back, uh, my brother? I know we we skipped you earlier. Is your network okay now? Uh, yeah. No, share. Uh, your network is still giving us trouble. That's, uh, it's on and off, uh, leader. It's on and off, but uh, we'll try and give you time so that hopefully it will reset somehow and uh, work. Apologies, man. Uh, we'll give you time, though. Dr. Deza, I see your hand up, my brother. No, I just wanted to say Usang Deval. Uh, because you made an indication that you were only taking questions earlier on. So, I really make it say uh, this opportune moment to send my heartfelt condolences to the people of KZN, uh, those who have lost their loved ones, their uh, homes. You know, it's a very painful moment. Uh, we might not be in KZN, that is who, but we relate on so many levels. You know, uh, when I saw what was happening in KZN, it took me back to 2007 when I personally experienced the very same thing. Uh, many villages, Kumafiging, Kobabung, uh, specifically where I come from, there was a tornado there that swept uh, our houses. You know, and that is who I'm speaking to you today now, since government made promises back in 2007, our our families, and not just mine only, but all the families in our villages had to rebuild their houses because government did practically nothing. So uh, I think I forgot who was making submission earlier and said that we shouldn't a point uh, fingers and blame the government and i suspect that whoever that was making those submissions is probably one of the beneficiaries of this corrupt anc government who does not get to experience what the people on the ground are experiencing when government does not care about them or even trying to assist them when uh, such a disaster occurs you know, it's a very painful moment and that is where I won't lie. Uh, we are seeing pictures from KZN, hence my 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 request earlier was that at least provide us with banking details so that when we are here taking out our frustrations, uh, we are equally lending a helping hand. Uh I know that the public protector addressed this issue earlier, but uh, I I also had a comment in that this So if I if you feel like I'm taking you back, please allow me. Uh, I think it was it was David who was uh, saying that we should put politics aside. We should just focus on helping people, but we must never forget that government has a bigger a much, much bigger role to play in this whole mess. However, 
we know the government of the ANC. It's really, that is who you will forgive me. And I don't mean to be name calling or anything of that sort, but it's really uh, uh, hypocritical for, for even ANC members to come here and tell us that ANC comrades are going to be chowing, where else they are the ones campaigning for this very ruthless, shameless individual who steal from a, a public purse, who steal from people's a, funerals, you know, who are able to steal from the pandemic. So when you come to these spaces and you hear us uh, saying that we do not trust the government of the ANC, it's because they have a very, very long track record of being inhuman and insensitive to situations that which are facing our people on the ground, you know, for even benefiting uh, from people's uh, miseries and tears. It's it's a sad status of affairs. And to even sit here and listen to ANC cadres with their uh, uh, ANC uh, profile pictures and ANC voice coming out here and acting like uh, the state and 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 a, a, a corruption are two different entities. We must never entertain such. And when we are voicing out our frustrations, they must know that we are directing it to them as members of the ANC, campaigners uh, of the ANC, who will be again in KZN in very few months to say that ANC must lead, uh, people must forget about politics, uh, they will bring a better candidate. Uh, unfortunately, the public protector, you know, I was listening as she was making uh, points that the 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 Auditor General and her office will keep a close eye. But we know that the very same comrades are going to clear each other there in government and uh, go before the Parliamentary Ethics Committee like they did with a, a the former Minister of uh, Health. You know, to say that they have cleared them, they found that they did not commit any crimes when people have benefited uh, you take your Kusela Digo and many others who have benefited when our people are faced with pandemic and many other disasters in their lives. So it's 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 sad. That is why in that is why I am still okay. I heard you when you said that you got the banking details. We we put our hope and our trust, you know, uh, in organizations outside the ANC. Because we know those things. We know those thuggish uh, kids that they are just waiting to get their hands and uh, not even assist our people. My last point that this way, you know, uh, in as much as we are speaking about KZN and this question I forgot to pose to the public protector, uh, but I hope that you will equally get this message to her. There's equally a village in, a, in the Northwest called Diel Ban. Uh, eight weeks ago, they equally experienced floods. Uh, there are about 300 families again whom their uh, homes were swept away. Fortunately, uh, there, there are no deaths that were recorded there. But then my worry is that we have a government that it does not respond you know, to such issues. So I just wanted to find out if her office is aware of that because it has been reported on a news across the northwest i uh, i've never seen it on national tv uh, you know because some villages that are far away from a center of attentions uh, we do not get much attention when it comes to national news or even assistance from national government that is so let me pause here and the speakers and also in absentia the public protector for having came here and you know just kept us up to speed lee and also to appreciate the work that which sandy Le and a uh, uh, his forum is doing there in guamashu it's really good to see people you know and who are having a conscious to to at least uh, when when one of us is experiencing such uh, to chip in and assist it's really there's there's hope for humanity and uh for that thank you that is well
Thanks, uh, Dr. Deza. Thank you so much for that. Uh, I don't know if the public protector is aware. I would think that they are, but uh, I can definitely check in with her office on the situation uh, in the Northwest uh, that you raise uh, the flooding there, you know. So much happening, and I think to the PP's point, you know, that we need some kind of structure in place, X-Men also emphasizing this, you know, uh, precisely so that when these things happen, a system in, is in place, you know, re, uh, responding uh, in a very, you know, um, a timely manner, you know, uh, we really could do better. But uh, again, you know, putting our heads together is precisely what we need right now. And uh, like the public protector said, you know, we can learn from these strategies and uh, disasters and we can only do better. Uh, you know, forging ahead. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. The public protector was with us earlier on. She left, but, uh, yeah, uh, you know, she, she came in with an update on what's happening, and we appreciate that. She's currently on the ground in KZN, so I'm sure we'll keep getting updates from her. We've heard from people also in KZN, you know, affected by this uh, but also, you know, trying to come up with some solutions, trying to to help as best as we can. As you can see at the top, we shared information on how you, you might be able to donate, uh, you know, or help in any other way you can. Of course, we had a sister earlier on in Brasipo, uh, you know, asking if there's any way uh, people can help, you know, uh, those in Jobek. And uh, I think Brasandila is going to look into the possibility of you know, getting uh, taxi associations around Jobek that are KZ and bound to bring some of the materials with them, which is good. I mean, uh, our taxi associations, I must say, can be very organized. So this is where we really can use their help too. So we'll have to see. Some updates will come through, uh, you know, I'm sure between today and the next number of days. Constitution, you wanted to come in, my brother. Oh, wait, uh, before Constitution, I apologize. We have a sister here. Tutukile, I apologize. Please do come in. I'm so sorry. Mabuel, are you there? All right, Constitution. Yes, yes, Mr. T. Uh, I think I think I would, I would want to agree with that with with the doctor Eddie um, Doctor Teza there. Uh, that is, is the, actually I've seen as well reports from Eastern Cape that there are floods. I I, I hope uh, there is almost similar effort which is being done by the Eastern Cape Provincial Government uh, to assist uh, the municipalities like Post and Johns and some parts of the War Tambo district uh, to assist uh, those communities which are affected by the, by, by the same thing because the pictures which you are seeing is, is, is more or less the same as some parts of the KZN. Uh, it, it, it is also true that I'm not sure whether I've made this point. I, I don't think it's very assuring to say, no, people mustn't worry about a, 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 a will try to ensure that, like as, 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 as Mbalula once said, you know, he, that uh, we will ensure that money is not being stolen. It's as unfortunate that as long as law enforcement is not acting uh, with the previous, uh, um, the previous COVID, uh, previous corruption which has happened under the COVID-19 thing. And then I, I don't think people will not uh, res will resist not to steal this time around. I, 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 it's so painful, Mr. T, that you, uh, people are, are willing to assist and, and they feel this pain. But on this other hand, you we have these reservations that ish, this money may not even reach where it is, it is actually needed. It, it may really not not reach and and unfortunately when it comes to disasters there isn't enough time to to think and put these planning structures and uh, you you have to act on your feet and 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 and, and get, get things moving and and it's very concerning that you still have a, a, the rain is no longer as as as, as it was as bad as it was uh, earlier on but but 
but but but the 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 pace to to assist those committees is super slow, and and that 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 in in, in that process, uh, people are planning. They are planning to 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 steal it. Uh, they they are they are planning to. St- I, I don't know what else can be done by law enforcement because I think what can be assuring, because it is not a solution. This thing of saying no, the solution must be gift of the givers. No, we cannot outsource government. Government has still has to be intact. And it still has to respond to the needs of the of of of, of the citizens of this country. We can we can rely on the private sector and the NGO sector as well for everything. It is there; they are there, and they are very helpful. But government it, 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 it also has to be a, a very uh, um, responsive to the needs of the society. But I don't know what else. I haven't come up come come across any plan of. Besides the the normal statements of no, let's not we'll put uh, things in order that money is not being stolen. It's going to be stolen, but the law enforcement. I don't know how it can be upfront this time around to ensure that uh, just one statement of someone being uh, suspicious of being uh, then uh, straight away we hear arrests and and being investigation. Unfortunately, with these disasters, you have to wait until this whole thing ends. Then the the investigations start to unfold, and we know, as as the doctor Tessa said, it, they usually uh, clear people, and we move to the next disaster. I will hope that at least it is not just mere statements of saying no money will be uh, stolen. The 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 there are tangible uh, actions being put in place by law enforcement this time around. We cannot because we can't trust these government departments. Uh, it was very difficult to trust the Auditor General because it also comes after the fact, and 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 and, and we need uh, something else to ensure that these these funds are being safeguarded, uh, guarded, uh, that they don't go into the wrong hands, and 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 communities in case that and get assisted with speed. So so that's just, that's just my fear uh, uh, around it, and and it it, it is delaying uh, the assistance that will have come from ordinary citizens. This thing of not trusting. Uh, the established uh, structures is very uh, 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 unhelpful and, and also uh, 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 not assisting uh, to whoever has to uh, uh, get uh, uh, from whatever uh, funding or assistance that would have come from people who want to donate uh, or, 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 or donate it could be companies or individuals. I, I just hope something else other than mere statement can come up to ensure that we 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 are, we we are we are being uh, comforted that this thing doesn't happen. Unfortunately, I've, I've heard Dr. Teza, Just my last point is saying he's, he's correct saying that some of us who are commenting here yeah, we have we have banners who are from political parties. That's true, and we we, we try to avoid to politicize these things, but it's and also it's completely unavoidable sometimes not not to not to say through it because we know that these are the same people who will be stealing. Unfortunately, as well, we can't say the same about the opposition. They tend to to, to, to defend the factions of the ANC as well. So uh, it, no one is clean in this thing. You, you get opposition parties defending one faction because they are against another faction, and it is not assisting uh, in cleaning up the state uh, and, and government uh, in, in that process. Uh, uh, thanks, Mr. Tim. I'll, I'll drop down to the listener, to, to be a listener. Okay, thank you so much, uh, my leader. Much appreciated uh, for your submission. X-Man, you had your hand up. Mr. T, uh, but uh, what what I wanted to emphasize is the structure. Sandile must confirm whether we can use him as a first uh, uh, initiative just to have a structure. We need a structure, and we don't need a structure only in KZN. We need a structure across all provinces, which is similar to gift of the givers. Thank you. All right. Thanks, my brother. I think Sandile is off now. I know he's busy, but we'll see if he can come back. Uh, Tutukile, are you there? All right. Che, are you back, leadership? Thank you very much, uh, my brother. I'm back. Uh, I had to drive out of the comfort of my own home just to make... uh, a few contributions uh, for the purpose of what we seek to achieve <clears throat> with the regarding the subject matter. 
Um, first and foremost, I think um, I wish to second what uh, Sipo has highlighted um, earlier on uh, during the start of uh, this uh, program to say he's based in Joburg and those that have got an interest to keep in uh, to keep to touch base with him uh, to do so i'm sure for the purpose of um, having a a festival of ideas to see how best we can intervene and assist some of the speakers of course they spoke about uh, and and the, their concerns or um, their concerns are, are, I think, they are justifiable to say. At times, we we allow government to be in the forefront of certain things, and realistically, they have proven beyond any reasonable doubt that uh, they can be careless, uh, even with money. Um, they can even steal money meant for Nelson Mandela funeral. They can steal money meant for Mother of the Nation, Winnie Mandela, you name them, you know. But uh, that alone goes to show what uh, we need to occupy that space as community and say, how best can we assist the process moving forward? Um, and it's on the basis of that that uh, I wish to support that uh, uh, suggestion by Osi Posadzwayo. But also go further. To, I must also go further to uh, to challenge you, Mr. T. Um, I think uh, your influence goes beyond the borders of Africa. Uh, you have influence even in the United States. You've got friends. You've got in Canada, in Africa, in South Africa, and some of the people you even invited them in uh, various in this space for the purpose of various uh, engagements. And it is this time that uh, when we talk about uh, uh, black unity, we see that in motion. We see that practically happening. So I wish to challenge you to say, yes, there's Sandile, yes, the gift of the givers, yes, there are other formations that uh, are, are, are willing to assist the process. But as the host of um, one of the most popular spaces um, in the world, um, it is my wish to submit to you that uh, you consider favorably um, an opportunity to marshal, um, lobby um, other forces that you work with, have an account that is specifically meant to assist the victims of uh, KZN floods. As one dealer rightfully put it, in a longer run, in fact, not even in a longer run, already we are affected uh, by, by the current status quo. And as a people, as people, we need to stand up and say, how best can we come on board and contribute? I can confirm to SIPO, I... I hope he's still uh, on, on space that there will be a couple of people that uh, if he shares his contacts um, that I would like him to touch base with for the purpose of seeing how best they can assist this process uh, moving forward. Um, and lastly, as, I've, I've, as I have said in one of your spaces, Mr. T, that uh, we do not have celebrities in South Africa we have prima donnas uh, because the role of celebrities is to ensure they are the mirror of society. By now, they should have stood up, came together, and said, how best can we assist our people through our influence? And uh, it has not happened, and it's very disappointing. So um, with those few inputs that I've made, I hope uh, they make sense. Uh, but I strongly feel that, Mr. Tseu, in as much as you are based outside South Africa, marshal the forces, engage the forces, bring them on board. And without necessarily putting you on the spot, I know that is, 
that kind of work is very close to your heart. Um, I've learned that even before you reached the uh, adolescent stage at the particular point, that work already you were doing it for, in your community where you originate. I know uh, that uh, other younger people, your, your peers, you would buy them pairs of shoes so that they can go to school the same way as you would do. I know for the fact that you are passionate about the well-being of African child. So hence, I'm posing a challenge to you to say, take this process to another level, interact with various people to say, this is how I think we could assist our people down in KwaZulu-Natal. I thank you. Thanks, uh, Chair. You see now you're making me cry. Um, this is a man who's known me since I was a baby. So you see, that is a problem when you have people that know you. But uh, yes, this is stuff that is very close to my heart, my brother. And I'll, you know, give up my last cent to do whatever I can to help my people. I will die for my people. Ah, thank you so much for that. Uh, Duke, Z.A. Hey, Mr. Cho, uh, I've treated what I wanted to say to you. Uh, I'm not really sure if the public protector has uh, come in. Uh, uh, one of my suggestions uh, regarding this matter, I think I'm not sure that people who are educated in law, whether it's possible for the Auditor General to oversee the, the I'm not sure, is it a grant of the one billion, the relief fund? Uh, maybe we can come up with a suggestion for for the Auditor General to, to, to oversee that process because we know what happened last time with the the COVID. We might end up with the money that is not uh, reaching out to, to the people in there. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I, I wanted to to touch on also on the some of the disturbing uh, videos that came up also in KZN uh, regarding the shooting incidents in front of the, the little kid there. I'm not sure if we can incorporate that into our discussion because you know it's very disturbing. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Duke. Uh, that a uh, PP did come through already and she left, but yeah, I think you're talking about the video uh, of the, the shooting at a at a gas station, man. That was very disturbing, and uh, certainly, you know, if anyone wants to touch on that. Uh, the floor is yours. I do not mind at all. So thank you so much for that, my brother. Yeah, you know, we are a struggling nation, you know, uh, so much. As someone said earlier when you opened, you know, I think it was Mkulu. So many uh, disasters before us and it just seems like it's never ending, you know, like uh, it makes one want to ask. It makes one want to ask, you know, what have we done, you know, uh, but yeah. A courageous people we are, uh, a very proud people, and we are not going to let this, you know, uh, have us, uh, you know, give up uh, on life. Uh, we will push as best we can. Valentino. Mr. T. My leader. Is it good morning there by you or what? It is, no, it is afternoon, 3.39 p.m. Good afternoon, Mr. T. Good afternoon to the listeners. Uh, it's been quite a while since uh, I've been on the spaces. Yeah, Mr. T, we are living in very, I don't know, difficult times, uh, especially in our country. Uh, mine today is going to be very short, Mr. T. Um, we have become a community of reactive rather than proactive. Uh, disasters are bound to happen. That one is a given, and we cannot do anything about it. However, we have measures that are supposed to be in place, monitored, controlled, put in place by government, so that when the disaster happens, we have minimum damage or life or loss to life. There is what we call a disaster management plan, which I did not see taking effect in case of 10. There is what we call an evacuation plan. There's also the weather bureau. They should have warned us. The El Ninos, all these cyclones, they are pre-warned. And uh, we try as much as possible to get people away from there or to give people help or to put measures in place when they happen so that we can be very swift in assisting our people. Have we become a country that doesn't care about these things? 
or we don't have people that have studied to look into these things and give us forewarning. Um, our efforts, for instance, Mr. T, it was in Mozambique, it was in Malawi, it was in Zimbabwe, helping people. And it helped them very, very, very well. Uh, it's to my surprising that uh, the efforts was used for the president to run around checking the areas and it was not brought forward as soon as disasters or people foresaw the disasters will take place to assist with evacuation, to assist with providing essential elements to the people. Uh, the assistance of the NGOs is more than welcome. And I think they're doing very well. I must say big up to the brothers and sisters who are, are very, uh, what can I say, active in, 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 in trying to assist the people. But the responsibility of government, Mr. T, I, I did not see how government reacted. We are now trying to shield or sh shift every government uh, uh, responsibility to NGOs. These NGOs are also making money. Gift of the givers, as much as they make that they make that call and they come and they assist, there's an element of profit in there. Um, Really, we, I think we need a society, we need to take back what belongs to us. Government is not going to help us in any way. The, 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 the one billion is a worrying factor. But what I see is everybody's now talking about the one billion and how government is going to eat it and all that. And then we're forgetting the real problem that we have, which is a disaster in KwaZulu-Natal, a calamity. Not only in KwaZulu-Natal, there's also in Northwest, even in the Northern Cape, even in the Eastern Cape. But Mr. T, you want to tell me that uh, there's no one body that studied weather patterns that could have told us, guys, get ready for this. It's going to be tough, but we need to put measures in place. Or is it the fact that government just does not, not worry? We are worried about petty nonsense, petty, petty little things in our country, that when things that affect us the most come, we are not ready for it, Mr. T. So, yeah, again, Mr. T, uh, I think it will be for the third time that I'll say this to Mr. T. That stock fell, Mr. T. That stock fell that can help us help us as natives to gather money together for such circumstances for us to advance ourselves economically. It's needed, Mr. T. I know I make a joke of it, but Mr. T, we can do something if we have something like that. And then it's controlled by us. And then we can, whenever there's a problem, we can then appoint relevant people that will use money to diffuse situation and to assist with any anything that needs to come up. That's all I want to say, Mr. T. Really think about it on how we can come up with. Mr. T, if you have all the people that follow you, donate 100 rands, you can open your own, we can open our own bank. And that's the that's the honest truth that I'm I'm now I'm now saying to you, Mr. T. Willingness, and when I'm referring to you, Mr. T, I'm referring to everybody on the group. I'm referring to the think tanks, people that can make this happen. But in actual fact, um, government is found wanting in many, 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 many on many occasions. Uh, it's because we we've become we've become gullible. We talk a lot, but we don't take um, government to task. That's why they can just do as they please with us. They know that these guys will make noise on Twitter, but nothing will come of it. Where is that energy that we had during the President Zuma era? Why is it not being displayed right now? Imagine if it, if, 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 if it was President Zuma that was still in, play, in, 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 uh, in the presidency. What could have become of this incident? So, Mr. Tia, thank you. But uh, I think uh, the solutions to all our problems lies with us and not with the uh, politicians. These politicians, they're all one and the same. They, they just claim to be on different sides, but when it comes to delivering, all of them are useless, sorry to say. Thank you, Mr. T. Always nice to hear from you. Always nice to be on your space. Thank you, bro. Bye, Danke. Pleasure, pleasure, man, Valentino. You know, as always, uh, and I mean, you have a huge point here, you know, the stock fell uh, system. That's, uh, yeah, it's essentially our own banking system. You know, why don't we formalize it and uh, make it into something... That can help us black folk. It's already there. The knowledge behind it is there. We just need to, you know, put a few heads together and make it into this banking system that you speak of. Uh, 
yeah, perhaps we'll have to bring in some great minds, you know, and uh, have a space on that very issue, you know, to see what it looks like. Uh, should it be done, you know, uh, what are possibilities in it and, you know, uh, challenges and so forth. I think you're on to something there, my brother. You really are. Okay, um, we have uh, our sister, um, Bokela is back. We'll hear from her. I see I instigate coming through too. Please, if you have anything to share on this topic, uh, do grab the mic. I'm hoping to shut it down at the top of the hour. Uh, so uh, this might be your opportunity to come through before we close. So thank you so much for being with us. If you've just joined us, uh, the public protector was with us earlier on. Uh, we do have a recording right after the space, so you can hear if you missed it. But yeah, she was just giving us an update. She's currently on the ground in KZN. And uh, we spoke of community efforts by community efforts by local businesses and NGOs, uh, the role of government, where government might need to improve, you know, the good that government is doing too, not forgetting that, of course, and so on. Uh, as we said earlier on, this is a time that calls for all of us to really work together. As someone said, you know, let us put politics aside for a bit uh, and uh, try and, uh, you know, uh, put life uh, up as our biggest priority. And I do appreciate like, and I am behind that as well. Okay, my sister Mbokela, you are back. Please, the mic is yours. All right. I instigate. Are you there, leadership? Yes, leader, and uh, everyone, I'm here. I'm here. Um, oh, okay, cool. I see our sister speaking now. Sorry, my brother. Okay, my sister, go ahead. Sorry about that. No, thank you very much, uh, uh, guys and colleagues and the maybe um, fellow South Africans. I think uh, there's a general consensus uh, in the discussion that the people would want to help. And I must confirm that I've already seen the poster that has got uh, some banking details, which um, therefore calls on all of us to disperse it as much as we can. And uh, maybe uh, for the sake of this, uh, of this uh, space and if maybe for the sake of uh, the incident that we are dealing with, uh, which is before us, the issue of uh, where one belongs politically and otherwise, we might uh, really need to ignore it because uh, we might be um, members of different political parties which every now and then they falter, but not all of us uh, are doing that and we're in this space uh, for one genuine cause of wanting to contribute and help in the situation of KZN and, and also try to make uh, our own country a better country that which everyone else can live in. Uh, so I would wish that uh, if we are to have this space next time, let's uh, just be a bit cautious of how we term and view everyone else with or paint everyone else with one brush of corruption. Because not all of us are corrupt, uh, but we're living in a country that has got uh, people who are heartless who will want to make personal profits even on terrible and painful situations that other people are facing. That would be the first point. The second one... Uh, I think our sister might be getting a call. Let's give her a few seconds. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for being with us. In Mr. Mm -hmm. Trail Spaces. Oh, yes. I would, I would, I would employ that indeed one would have uh, been interested to know if there's a celebrity that would uh, usher and try to influence people to think for the people of KZN, but their silence is too loud and is too much. And lastly, um, me too, me too. Uh, I say this uh, as as a person that is is an activist. Me too. I I, I rather. Um, donate to an independent body that which uh, I would uh, maybe trust that it will take that money or whatever that I would donate to the people that are affected than give it to the to the to the people that are, will, will will embezzle the money uh, without even 
a a a fear of of the situation uh, so I, I would really wish that it it it, it is uh, something that we are able to coordinate and then uh, we don't only end here as a talk on twitter because some of us we're not really um active on Twitter. It's on certain times where we find space, but this topic uh, caught my attention and uh, I'm interested in participating in it. And perhaps uh, to you, uh, host, I would be able maybe to DM you my number so that if there is something that uh, perhaps we can uh, contribute, we're able to do that uh, uh, as soon as we can. And lastly, it's true that uh, even in the Eastern Cape, we've got three areas that uh, are affected that are on the side of Wartambo, but uh, we're not uh, affected as KZN is affected. Uh, we have not yet been told that there are families that we have lost or there are um, roads that are not able to be, to be utilized, but there are families that are affected. And I do believe... Uh, uh, provincial government will have to lead that and in the space that we're in uh, we'll, 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 we'll know whether if there is anything happening so lastly I would I would request that all of us as we're here it, it not be uh, us being on Twitter but it be us being here wanting to help the situation in KZN and, and if it needs be uh, we'd be at a point of taking that kind of a responsibility because one would have listened to the public protector when she was saying that even some of the people that are bestowed with the responsibility to help people based on the fact that they are public servants, they are not even responding to a call. And if they're not responding to a call, how much more would they then do if they are supposed to be delivering service to certain individuals? And me too, uh, I'll be very much frustrated as, as she was that there's an entire minister or an entire MSC that doesn't answer a phone at the time of a crisis. Because it therefore means that that person wouldn't then answer that phone any other day. Uh, will, will just continue as he or she pleases. So it therefore means that as citizens and as people who are in this space, we just need to shoulder the responsibility and try to make a contribution in whichever way that we can. And if needs be, uh, we can coordinate ourselves here further and uh, and maybe even establish a, um, a, a, a more uh, coordinated kind of a group to help because there are families, I can tell you there are families that are not going to be able to to be to to get a breakthrough in the right type that the government will come up with because there would be a lot of things uh, you must have this you must have an id you must have this whilst people know very well that people have lost even uh, id copies but those are some of the of the things that you're going to be put up for as a means of trying to put a red tape and ultimately have people that are not being helped. So it therefore means that we must be ready to help these ones that are not going to be helped by government. Uh, thank you very much, um, uh, Chair of the Session. Thanks, uh, Leader. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, certainly possibilities in terms of networking and doing what, what we can. So yeah, do feel free to connect uh, for sure. Uh, instigate uh, leadership, please come through. Yes, thanks, uh, Chairman, uh, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. And uh, to those who are not in afternoon, I just say hi. Um, Chair, <laughs> like I hear the people saying um, we must put our differences aside. I mean, to say um, the political affiliation must be put aside. Look. I, I doubt if like we're gonna keep on um, taking the guys uh, 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 that benefiting from this corruption of the ANC and uh, try to <clears throat> to to start anything new with them is gonna help us. Look uh, where I'm from, or oh, on my upbringing, they used to say the one potato is capable to spoil the whole potato in a bag. So the likes of um, like uh, these things, like I think uh, it was raised by um, Shazi on, 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 on Twitter, uh, like uh, we were writing, 
trust me, the insult he got from that to say why the government is not declaring this as a um, as 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 i think it was about uh, uh, or if not 3 days ago as a, as a, as a national uh, disaster yet because it's clear that people are dying there are people who are swept uh, by um by the water from the condo and uh, and all stuff which was clear that people were dying at that time uh because the 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 the, the weather condition was out of control look We've got the likes of uh, constitution here. Like if you can go to my timeline, you will see that they are, they are busy insulting people instead of like uh, 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 coming with an ideas or agree or disagree with a constructive um, input or 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 or, 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 or input that will take us probable. to a different position but when they come here on a space and they talk they 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 <laughs> they, they, they are chameleons they they, they just change uh, all of a sudden they they they, they are the also ones who are who are against corruption who are against the ANC i mentioned this thing of uh, kuseladiko the money that was put into her into her uh, account uh, she don't know what exactly happened and the the, the whistle blower once she, she she's dead assassinated not just died naturally then she was brought back to 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 government no consequences the issue of um, mabuyane who <laughs> mabuyane who borrowed the money from the service provider it doesn't make sense who even able to use a court to block the, the hogs to investigate not to arrest him use the court to block the investigation of the corruption he he did i mean after the 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 pp found that there was such a corruption when bound uh, uh, oh, pam is pam i think is pam or something who who blow the whistle like i mean how can you be safe how can you be uh, so sure that you, you are with the community or you are with the right people you are doing thing if you're going to associate yourself with the likes of that people like i mean specifically to talk about constitution like i mean guys we know each other's true color here if like like uh, there's the suggestion of valentino like to say it's time we start our own thing to 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 go uh to the next level to build this nation the way the way we want to do as a citizens i i think it's a point that where we need to go to but if we're going to drag or maybe plead with the likes of a constitution and, and the other likes who are like um like the media who are busy uh, uh busy defending Siri left and right and center where there is a proof that the Tumamina affection is corrupt to the core even they defended uh, um keys with their lives that like even the constitution they turn it upside down including zondo like if the one man one vote is not working e e e in a parliament like the like that ma, that madam who what forgot even his name the one that they beat her on a, on on a african parliament pan african parliament she she took every anc vote to <laughs> to just one person to say as anc we say in this process of uh, 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 scrutinizing kweban must go ahead but we are in a position of the constitution where the where we saying one man one vote why that is not happening in parliament if we are in this position then we're going to drag those people and we try to build the society with us like just take a, 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 a considerable look if we have really that that what we sold uh, what do you call it rainbow nation they managed to donate 1 billion for serially to 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 
<laughs> to go on and be the president and uh, reverse even including this thing of nine nine hundred uh, billion buying from the blacks, reversing this thing of Africans and the immediate uh, 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 um, a language in Unisa. I mean, if we're gonna like beg those people to be amongst us, I think we we just um, I don't know. Uh, how can I put this? I think we're just going to corrupt our society. That can see things are not going well. Again, from the point of Valentino, we have the Tutula that has been insulted all over the world, but is saving our purposes. I think it's time now to start the financial institution that is going to save our own people. We know the people who can save us. We know we've got uh, uh, Mr. Ntwe. We we know we've got these guys from Gift of the Girl. We know the leaders amongst us in a community who are not going to be protected by the constitution that says in order for one to be a president or to be a minister must be affiliated with uh, with um, with the political party. That politi political party, I, I mean, the, all that thing is like it doesn't give us the 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 the, the assurance to say right now the person who can do one two three it's 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 Mr. Sanjuel. We know his credential. We 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 know his effort in in a community without getting paid. He's selfless. Those are the kind of people we want. Uh, we want us to repre We 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 need to be get to get a representative. Like right now we've got. Um, like right now, we've got uh, the what's this, mm, Doctor? Oh, we lost instigate. Okay, um, let me send him the mic again. Um, but in the meantime, maybe Masipo, you can come in. We are closing now, so let's, uh, yeah, let's bring it to a close, Masipo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man, Mister Two. Uh, once again, look. Um, there's some developments, um, and it's an information which I wanted to share with everyone here. Um, I um, I just spoke to a gentleman from the Daviton Business Association, um, who said he was going to call me tomorrow morning, um, in terms of <clears throat> you know sharing information and trying to see how best we can be able to assist with the KZN situation. Um, I think there was another uh, point of um, contention which was raised by U Valentino, which is very important, which is about the, <clears throat> the, 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 the society's uh, funds, um, uh, which can be uh, also be utilized or form uh, sort of um, such uh, organizations to actually begin to help us. Uh, and he said something very important, U U U Valentino, to say, um, and, and I think it was also mentioned by U U U Mama o o o o o o Kulumile Lana, the last speaker, who's a, who's a lady. Um, she said we, we needed, you know, in this platform to start to be talking to forming structures which can actually be able to assist um, us in 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 that direction, so that we 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 do, we do not actually then rely on the <clears throat> the the, the organisations such as the gift of or of the givers. I also spoke to to Uche Uche. Then will be calling me anytime soon. We will actually be able to get as to how far we 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 can then be able because it's not a one it's not a one day thing. Um, I think even during the week, with those that um, we we are liaising with, we will then be able to garner as much much uh, assistance and support. Um, and thanks also, Mr. T, for the information that you have given us um, around the contact details of the Guamashu Business Forum. Um, look, I, I, I'll, I'll also again make an appeal to say let's desist for now. In, in 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 actually discussing ANC politics and 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 let us actually deviate from 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 discussing politics today. Um, the important matter because if if you've been listening to the public protector who was there in person in Guazulu Natal mentioned uh, that you know for us we've been seeing this on TV 
you know, we, we, we haven't seen nothing yet. And, and those who are there, who are experiencing this thing, you know, physically, um, I, I can imagine if, 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 if I were to be in Wazul Natal with what we are seeing, uh, you know, visually on television, how one then would have reacted. But please, man, um, let's, let's keep in contact. Let's, let's create networks. But let us make sure that with whatever we are doing in terms of cash, more especially where money is concerned, uh, I don't know, Mr. T, probably um, you might be able to assist as to how then we can make it, uh, you know, that there's there's accountability. Like, for instance, with, with a guy from the Daviton Business Association, how then do we make sure that such monies that are given to organizations such as those, then there's, there is accountability. If there's anyone, as, you, as you've said, that you will be invited, inviting the experts who are actually dealing with these issues, um, please um, maybe speed up that process so that we are able to assist. That 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 is my 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 two cents. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, thank you so much, Brasipo, uh, uh, for that. Uh, yeah, we'll see who we can invite. Uh, you know, I'm sure after this we'll be in discussions with a number of people. I know Brasipo. I mean, Bra- Sandile also came through from the Komashu Business Chamber and he did emphasize that, you know what, um, uh, their books are open for accountability so you can see and track, you know, trace the money, uh, you know, that is being spent. So, uh, and you know, that's uh, a very good thing. Uh, That's what we need. So I'm sure a lot will happen, a lot will, you know, we will see a lot develop or a lot of developments in the next coming uh, day or so. Yeah, on politics in the space while we're trying to tackle an issue like this, it's it's a tough one. You know, I think traditionally our space is uh, one that is known for rigorous uh, political engagement and debate, albeit you know civil. But uh, so I think some of us. Uh, uh, forget <laughs> for Dr. Deza, they forget, you know, and they fall off topic. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll have to, I think we'll, this is a lesson that, uh, you know, we'll have to um, bring in issues like this, you know, uh, at least once or twice a week and not just be political all the time. You know, let's try and add an element of humanity in our weekly uh uh, f- uh, discussions as well. So, no, thanks for that, Prasipo. Uh, uh, I see uh, Dr. Deza wanting to come in, but very quickly, uh, 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 Sandile from the uh, uh, Kwamashu Business Chamber did send in a number two. So, if you want to get in touch with him, he's on 084 489, uh, sorry, 084 496. Five six seven nine. Uh, yeah, I know the brother is trying his best to also see if he can put something in place between Jobek and KZN with the taxi associations for those people asking earlier, including you, Basipo, if you know there's any way of getting things from Jobek to KZN. We really appreciate all the work that everybody's doing here uh, in this effort to help our brothers, sisters, mothers, fathers. Uh, you know, our people really in KZN really appreciate that. Dr. Deza, please come in and we will shut it down. And Dr. Tril, thank you very much. Thank you to our our speakers and everyone who has contributed. Just wanted to remind uh, people that the banking details that is who has provided for them, let us go and make our donations. Uh, make contact for the drop-offs for food and clothes and all that. Let us not just come here and speak and speak and not say things should not be politicized when we know that uh, politics plays a very vital role. But we we do agree that it's important that we, we become human. That is why we have to caution uh, ANC politicians, not just politics, uh, or they must not go and steal for from our people. And that so I just wanted to come back and just register my my thanks uh, to you, to the public protector, to Sandile, and commend the work that which he's doing. You know, I stayed up almost uh, 
the entire morning. It's it's four o'clock where I am in the morning, and I've been here for for the past uh, three hours since the space has started. And uh, just to register my thanks to each and every individual who's been here and who has made their contribution. Indeed, there is hope. Uh, in humanity. Uh, we might be having different affiliations in terms of politics, but it's always great to see uh, the black people uniting and coming together and trying to tackle issues to society. And also maybe uh, as a suggestion, more especially to people who are putting it up uh, to, to say that he should he should be the one responsible for for forming structures, I, I also just want to pose it back to you and say that, you know, the responsibility that which we are putting on that is where we know that he's doing an excellent job, but sometimes we also must think uh, for him. And uh, when we come up here, come with proposals and not just expect him to take the first step and do things for us, you know. Uh, he sh- he's here, yes, and he can guide, but also let us not do it, make it difficult for him to to assist us. You know, we should also take leadership roles as we can see that our government is failing us. That is so and um, those who will be enjoying the, uh, the uh, uh, Easter Sunday, Lebone, let me take this opportunity to wish them all the best. And uh, yeah, let everything be resurrected. The the houses that were destroyed, you know, unfortunately, the lives that we have lost will always uh, cherish them. Uh, but I hope that hope in KZN, in the Northwest, in Northern Cape and Eastern Cape and all other parts of the country, that have been affected. I hope that hope does not die and people will find light and comfort in knowing that equally we are with them, God is on their side, and we shall overcome. Thanks, Dr. Deza. Thank you so much, my brother. I appreciate you uh, staying up this late uh, to be with us on this very hot Very important uh, topic before our nation. Um, uh, We really appreciate you doing that. And uh, I'm sure we will see, you know, the benefit of uh, doing this sort of thing in years to come. We are doing this for, you know, our nation today and in the future. So let me thank everyone in the space for being with us, uh, thanking the public protector for joining us earlier on, as well as uh, uh, Sandile of the uh, Kwama Shu uh, Business Chamber uh, to give us updates on what's going on in KZN. And also a big thank you to all the speakers who came through with comments and uh, questions. And of course, my biggest of thanks to all our listeners. As I always say, without listeners, there is no space. So I thank you tenfold, uh, listeners, today, yesterday, and tomorrow for being by my side while, uh, while, whenever I'm doing these spaces. Uh, we appreciate your ears and your thoughts. And I know some of you don't say much, but you will send a message here. You will comment there. We appreciate that. It all counts, you know, when we put all our heads and thoughts together. It means something. Some information at the top. I'll play a song to get us out of the space so you can, you know, look at some of the the stuff I shared at the top there. Uh, We also are trying to put a YouTube account together after people asked for one. So we can see if, you know, we can put some of our spaces up there for those who miss them. People really want, uh, there are people asking for this YouTube thing and uh, podcasts and all that. So we'll see what we can do. Uh, You know, if that's going to help uh, reach people, if it's going to help, you know, share knowledge, uh, why not? You know, let's do it. Um, It's for the betterment of oneself, of our community, and all that matters to us. From me to you, a very good Saturday, um, and uh, happy Easter, everyone. Uh, my love, my prayers, 